couple jazz hands tonight. Real jazz hands. Walter, doing, Walter's doing jazz hands. Tyvin has no video right now. Okay. Right now. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm doing the air jazz hands. Jazz, yeah, air jazz hands. Yeah, suppo yeah, supposedly he's doing jazz hands while he's driving on the highway. We're live. I hope you got your, what is it, centenarian? Big bang. Centennial? I think you got your Yashanka tonight. I hope you got your 100th episode of this podcast. Panties on, because we're live. This is Who Moved My Freedom podcast number 100, triple digits, yo, live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. I'm Hank Strange. We've got Tyvin. You guys can't see him, so it's just a blank screen right now. He's here with us, the Tyvin Show. He's on the road. However, he is going to be doing some giveaways, and you know how the Tyvin Show does it. He does it on Twitter. So you are yeah. forewarned and forsooth, forsaken, and foreshadowed that you need to get your butts on Twitter. Get your ass over to Twitter, biatches. Get yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure your Twitter yeah. accounts are set up. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, come, then, come then tell us and get the Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and of course we've got this this crazy uh Russian Trump dude here. This is the proof. It's all the Russians that, the Russians did everything, yeah. Yeah, this is the proof of the collaboration between the Russians and America <laughs> and Trump. <laughs> Trump. Right here. This guy. This guy's the proof Trump of it. <laughs> number one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to, this is our hundredth show. Welcome everyone to the show. Please give us the thumbs ups. Yeah. Let's get those thumbs up going. We got to get like a hundred thumbs ups for the hundredth show. Yeah. Here. This Congratulations is on the big one. Zero, zero, Hank, Lola, and Walter. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate that, Tyvin. Uh, obviously, we couldn't have done it without you. I don't know. We didn't get a chance to count and see how many episodes Tyvin's been in. Four. I think. Tyvin says let's four. Do, I it feels like comment. forty. It feels like forty to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Always an honor. Thank you so kindly. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and you know, Walter, you've been in a lot. I yeah. have no idea how many. But <laughs> other than me, you're probably the uh like the person who's been on here the most. Yeah. Who's he, he's on been here. on here since the wheel was invented. I guess yeah. got out of the gulag, you know. Yeah, the Egyptians, the Egyptians invented the internet, <laughs> and then Walter was born. <laughs> no way, man, Walter! I see you got the big black cap on. Is it really cold enough in Florida that you gotta have that? Hell no! He just wants to. He just wants to celebrate the hundredth show with us. Oh, he's pimping, so. then. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So here's what I'm going to do. Everyone click the thumbs up. Please share this video with your friends and family. Let them know that we are live. We're on the air. We're going to be giving away stuff. Tyvin's got, uh, we've got a giveaway going on with Tyvin. Two, two course, giveaways. Two giveaways, two giveaways. Uh, one is Omaha Steaks and the other one is related to Hornaday Ammo. So I'm encouraging you guys right now to go get your Twitter accounts warmed up. Get it on, boy. Get it ready. Yeah. So, yes, sir. Uh, Warsaw Patriot is already on the war path because, you know, he doesn't like us saying, we're just joking. This is a comedy show. This is here for your entertainment purposes. This is not Soviet Russia, no. Yeah. So, exactly. Uh, let me let me go down. <laughs> let me go down through the, uh, see who's in the chat and shout out everyone in the chat for the hundredth show here. It looks like I've already lost a whole, oh, because you know what? I lost a lot of stuff that was going on in the chat because I had to like restart my computer and whatnot because I was having some technical difficulties here with my computer. So, Hashtag reboot. Yeah, I had to reboot everything. So this is not in order. I believe that Joe Carpenter was number one today. He was there. That's the winner of our dream gun giveaway from Brownell Stag Arms. Uh, WMD Guns, UM Tactical, Joe Carpenter. He was actually number one in the chat today. So congratulations to him for winning the gun, then getting in the chat today. But I'm going to forget everyone else who was in there in order. I see Ron Van Fossen in here, Tango Hunter in, in the chat. Lola's in the chat, of course. The Archangel Warsaw Patriot that we just talked about. You know, uh, should we should we mention like how big of a fan Warsaw Patriot is of... Oh, no. Both, both yeah, the Glock and the yeah, the Glock and the High Point, and conspiracy theories about Donald Trump. He's a huge fan. Yeah. 
Uh, LB Louis Cipher is also in here saying uh, to uh, Lola Strange, happy 100th. Thank you very much. Chris Bullis is in the is in the building. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, oh, thank you. Nice. It is a nice hat. Mr. Holt. Yeah. yeah. He says, Warsaw Patriot says he wasn't offended <laughs> with an A. <laughs> I don't know. That's like a new thing, probably. Gorillas and Guns says, wow, 100 episodes. That's fabulous. 100. Yeah. yeah. Vanessa Kitty is in here. She says, I can go. Yeah, Vanessa Kitty says she hit that like button like five times. Woo! So there you go. Thank you for that. Uh, everyone, please hit that like button. Give us the thumbs up. Yeah, Share hard. this video. Uh, uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, this is the Hondo live stream. Yeah, Ron Von Fossen said, "Oh, I thought Lola was 100." <laughs> oh no! Come on. Oh. 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 It's about time Lola got some Lord. some abuse around here. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Tango Hunter says he also hates Glock. Uh, he says he hates them for making him um, like and buy all the following: the 17, the 19, the 26, the 43. <laughs> so no, no self control. <laughs> yeah, I guess Warsaw Patriot also hates Germany. Might as well. Yeah, Might as well just add everyone on the hate. Okay, let me go down here. I think I said gorillas and guns, but if I didn't, what's up? Gorillas and guns, the juice, uh, Jolly Roger USA. Uh, let's see who else. Mark Wagner, of course. Mag Mark Wagner is in here. He says, uh, "Good evening, Hank Strange, Lowell Strange, and the rest of the unusual suspects." Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> He's talking about you, Walter. Yeah. Warsaw Patriot said. Lola, please do me a favor. If Hank Strange says anything about me saying Glocks are my favorite pistols, please, please give him a, a hug and a kiss because those are totally my most favorite guns in the world. That's not, that's not what he said. He said, please slap him upside the head. <laughs> Let me just say this. Anybody that hates the Glock so bad they want to get rid of it, just I can give you my, 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 my mailing address and you can send it to me. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, we're FFL. <laughs> we can help you get rid of it. We can help you get rid of get rid of it. Uh, there so, you go. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Uh, that goes for Smith and Wesson. That goes for HK. That well, take your choice. You can send it to me. I don't care. Yeah, I'll yeah. never turn down Smith and yeah. Wesson, man. We'll take them all. We don't discriminate. No, no, no. We take all sizes. We all like all sizes. sizes. No, we take them dumb, sizes. cripple, and crazy. <laughs> we don't care. This is getting hot. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Oh. Not That's so warming good. up that big massive noggin, huh? Oh man, I tell you what, my this fits tight on my son too, which that yeah. goes to say something, you know. Yeah, yeah if the, you get a haircut, the, it'll feel fit better. No. The Keller head is uh, is, uh almost as ginormous and as as obnoxious as that I O A K ah. uh, <laughs> fireballs are. Fire breather, yeah, a little dragon. Yeah. Um. So I think I said Kentucky Firearms Network. He's in here. I think I said Mark Wagner. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, the Range One. Shout out to the Range One. I'm trying to go down. DC Two Mega Boost. DC Two. Also in here. And Larry Dorazio. What's going on? Um, Mr. Holster is in here as well. Mr. Holster, what's up? Meredith Mayhem. There you go. Um, Supreme Leader. I take Supreme. Dan, Dan, in any day. Dan Davis. TJ Blaze. David Baldner, Sleeping Angels, what? Recoil Junkie 1981, Jules. yeah, GA Driller, Lights Out 183. Um, let's see who else is in here. Uh, Sorry, guys, I can't read the comments tonight. I, I'm mobile. Yeah. Oh, Real Cujo just gave us a hundred bucks. What? He says, oh. "Here's to a hundred nights of hard work. Can't wait to see the next 100." Wow, thank there you. you go. That. That's like wow, that's a dollar a show. That's show. the next. Yeah, yeah that's the real Cujo. Jack, man. Yeah. I said real Cujo. He won the uh, gamers box for the biggest donation there last week. Yes. Um, you guys had some stickers and stuff. Yes. Please send that to my PO box so I can add all that stuff in and get that out to him. Oh, you okay. know what I just you know what I just ordered today? What? For the shot show, I ordered four thousand gnome stickers. Right. Oh, gnome oh, stickers. Want. Oh, cool. Yeah. They're gonna, be a, they're gonna be a little bit bigger than the standard gnome, but uh, you ordered. You did. Did I hear you say four thousand? 
Four thousand. Four thousand. Okay, cool. Send us like a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well. You might as well go ahead. You might as Are well. Are you gonna put you that well in every box and sold in December? A thousand are gonna get given away, so you might as well just. The main the main purpose is shot show, but um, we'll we'll have some for everybody else. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, uh, so so let's whoever see. buys a uh, upper upper this month, they're gonna get a free gnome sticker with their yeah. purchase of an upper. They usually get more than that, actually. So yeah, yeah, they usually get patches. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. So there you go. They so uh, David A says, "Wow, big baller." <laughs> Um, the Arm Kentuckian, which who is also Kentucky Firearms Network, says, "Wow, nice." Nine Hundred Four Outdoor says, "Awesome." Recoil Junkie says, "Holy crap, that's very nice." You know, I'm getting ready to do an SHTF fifty sticker too. Yeah. Oh, wait. Someone just someone just uh, Snooch Ooh. just gave one fifty. Holy goodness Ooh. gracious, Snooch! 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 S N O O C H. Just wow. gave 150. Wow, thank you very much. We really that's freaking awesome. Shout out. Shout out to both. These guys are insane. We love it. Thank you very much. And we appreciate it. And no, I don't get none of that either there. Somebody's asking. So, you know. Yeah, you you get the Hank Strange love. You get the Hank Strange <laughs> Hey, that's love. all good. <laughs> that, that all goes to Lola so she can take care of her new Audi. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, she's gonna yeah. get the windows tinted on that Audi. We're gonna get some nice final graphics put right across the windshield. It says the hang strain situation. Okay. Now you're just causing trouble. <laughs> now <you're> just causing <laughs> trouble. <laughs> so there you go, Giles, Michael, Henry. I see in here. Um, there's a bunch of people in here. Uh, Will Killer Keller is in here. <laughs> this is actually this is actually his his Yushanka. So you know I gotta. Oh, that's his. Oh, that's Will the, Killer Keller's head, you said? is That is, uh, okay, I thought you were talking about called, Spencer. This is called the Yushanka, by the way. Yes, it is. In Soviet Russia, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, also, Patriot says, give money every day, give up, give, give up, give money every day. You know what? Here's what I would like to do. Um, you know what? Honestly, Schmeggy42 gave us two bucks. Thank you, Schmeggy42. Your two bucks Thumbs is just up. as awesome to us. As the the ref, you know, at this point, it's two hundred and fifty-two <laughs> bucks. So we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, guys, you know what? It's for great for all the guys who support your podcast in any way, shape, or form. It's always appreciated. So thanks everybody for uh, subscribing to Hank Strange here and what he does. It's awesome. There's not too many good guys out there that does what Hank and Lola do. So. From me to you guys, thank you, and thank to everybody in the comments. Thanks, Simon. We appreciate that. We've got Lockjaw. He's new. He says, good evening, all. New to the show, but loving it so far. So, yeah. That won't yeah. last really long, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Imposter says, what's up to everyone? So, you know, that's that's great, man. I appreciate everyone who's coming out here and, uh, you know, helping us out in that, in that regards. Here's something. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things I want to go down for the – for the hundredth show here. Like we want to, we want to look back to the first show and we want to talk about all the different shows and talk about stuff mm -hmm. that you guys like or things you guys think we should, we should change. And what, you don't want to go back to the first show? Well, no, I was, I'm trying to think when the first one I was on, I don't know. if I was Oh, I was been watching all day. I watched the very first one up to like the seventh or eighth one. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so the thing is, is, you know, we're thinking about adding some things. Maybe you guys have some ideas of things we could do. I'm sure you have, I guarantee that everyone has ideas of who we should bring on, <laughs> which we're, we're working on that. We're trying to get more people on and-, and uh, Let's talk about- yeah, Some people are gun shy, you know, they don't like yeah. how the process goes. Yeah, Lola says we should talk about how we get people on the show, which is not easy. Lola does a lot of the reaching out to people. I reach out to folks. It's a lot of coordination that goes on. Some folks are really, really busy. So we do have some people that I think are on the schedule, right, Lola? coming up we want to see lola on jump show. on There's camera she's rarely are... ever on um that's because lola is always busy behind the scenes tyvin wants to know why you don't come on the show she's busy come on jump the on the camera real quick she lola even... say hi to everybody okay, tyvin, tyvin wants you to come on the show come on oh my god oh now she's, yeah, come now on, she's lola. gonna have to go look in the mirror and get all prepped up and oh, it's gonna be man it's, it's gonna take 10 minutes before she even uh, and then she's planning on <laughs> She's planning on leaving early anyway because she's got to go pick up uh, 
my younger son. So one of the things that I was thinking about doing, and I don't know, I'm going to run this past you guys. You guys can tell me what you think about this. I was thinking, I don't know if we could do this every day. I don't know if we could do it every day, but I was thinking or every time we do a show, we usually do our show from Monday to Friday. We do mm -hmm. two hours. We usually start around 7 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes we're late <laughs> for lots of different reasons. <laughs> and uh, sometimes we go either earlier or later, depending on where people are in the country that are coming on. But what I was thinking, Walter, is we should we should have like a mystery box on the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, with stuff in it. And then maybe we have people out there who can who can do this. You know, I know not everyone could do this. And whatever people do to support us, we appreciate it. But maybe we have a mystery box and people can like, um, you know, they can donate some money or something like that. And I can slowly take out the stuff out of the mystery box. But whoever wins gets the entire mystery box and everything that's in it. So if no, if this if this one dude comes on and he gives us like two bucks, he can get the mystery box. Yeah, you know, but you know we'll do that and like give away. I'll some have people. like a drawings of everybody who donates in the show that night, like a um, hat drawing or something, or your highest donation. What, what, what's your thoughts? I, I'm thinking like we can give it to the to the person that gives the most out of it, but we can also you know we can we're always giving away things to people, so we can we can work something out. We could tweak it and make it, but I think it'll be cool because then maybe I can get some companies to to give us some cool stuff. And we can go. get in the mystery box and we can slowly like, you know, I'll always take out the coolest thing in there last, you know, but maybe we can get some folks involved in that and we'll see how it goes. And, you know, OK, we have to come up with ways to uh, to be honest with you. We have to come up with ways to figure out what's going on here, because the whole YouTube thing is just going from bad to worse. Yeah, so, uh, we're struggling over here on the gaming aspect of YouTube as well. Um, it's just not gun channels. It's it's everybody. Yeah, but that's because uh, YouTube lost a lot of advertisers recently. Walter's showing a flying pig, by the way. You know, uh, well, just so you know, YouTube's not losing money. Well, they lost a lot of advertisers in the last uh, couple weeks. But it's not, and it's not even because of gun stuff. There's some other stuff that's going on behind the scenes. I think there's people that have other channels yeah. that are trying to do things that look child like they look like they're for kids. Yeah, but YouTube then, kids. Yeah, but they're not really for kids. There's people sneaking in things there, messing around with the algorithm. So there's some really bad things that are actually not good for kids to watch and all that kind kind of stuff. So because of that, a lot of yeah. advertisers have found out about that and pulled out. This, this, we're going to constantly go up and down with that. So I'm just trying to come up with some inventive ways that we could do all of this and keep the channel moving forward in general, in term, not just in terms of doing this Hangout, which... Um, I look at it this way, this hangout, Walter. I look at this as like, we're all gun guys. You know, we do whatever we do. We work our regular jobs, whether they're related to guns or not. And then this is kind of like going to the bar or the pub or the club or whatever you want to call it and hanging out with your gun buddies and carrying yep. on a little bit. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, go ahead, Walter. Yeah, you know, you get you, you go around with your friends and you bullshit, and, you know, and you tell stories and, you know, and all that yeah. stuff. You make fun of each other. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. You drink beers. There's always that one guy, like Warsaw Patriot, that's all about the Glocks, and it's like, Glock this, Glock that, Glock's awesome. Glock your mama. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, I think that I think that's what we're trying to do here with the show. But, of course, we're still doing videos. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. still doing videos and reviewing things, and there's lots of videos in the pipeline. We're still doing reviews. Walter comes over. Actually, we did a – we have a video coming up. Um, I haven't edited this yet, but we actually did – and don't say anything, Walter, but we compared the Fostec Echo 2 trigger to the um, – to the Franklin Armory BFS 3 S1. I, I can't keep track of the name. Binary of trigger. Yeah, the binary trigger, but with the straight – with the straight trigger on it so you know we're doing things like that all the time so yeah no it was cool yeah schmeggy schmeggy 42 says so you're saying i win the box tonight well we don't have the, i need to get the box we need to get a box and put some like special things around it and make it look awesome and then we'll have stuff that goes in the box i'm going to try to work on this i'm going to talk to some companies hopefully hopefully by like next week or something we'll have the whole box situation worked out and we'll have everyone um, putting things in there, you know. 
And yeah, there'll be other things we awesome. can do to give. You know. Yeah. T-shirts. Maybe Walter will send us some of these hats. Negative. <laughs> oh, now you put the hat down. <laughs> yeah. There you, there I can, you go. Well, I can tell you where you can get them, but uh, I can Walter um, will send us his hat collection. I don't have a collection. I have a few. You know what this? You know what this is missing? I gotta take off. The, I gotta take that Soviet Russia star off of there and put a a, a chicken on the front. Yeah, a rooster. Oh, yeah. do you have a babushka? A babushka is an old woman. You know that, don't you? Oh, I, I have no babushka. idea. I'm just making stuff up. Did a babushka? <laughs> that's, the old, that's like an old, like a grandmother. <laughs> no, I, I don't have a grandmother here. <laughs> uh, Mutiny for the cat liked your pig thing. It says when pigs fly. Oh, you know, you know what this is from? This is from Timony Triggers last year at the Shot Show. It was one of their giveaway things, like a stress ball or whatever. Or oh, like, cool! Yeah, that is nice. I didn't see that last year. That was nice. No, okay, well, oh, check that out. And guess what, Walter? That's a good idea for how we can get stuff for our mystery boxes. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of cool giveaways. Yeah. I don't take half the stuff because. Yeah, we can get we can get swag and stuff like that from Shot Show. We can do you know. End up in that box, you never know. Yeah, you know we can put things uh, in there. Um, it's going in the pile right now, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'd love to go to Shot Show. I just can't afford it this year. No, have you been no. before? You've never been, right? Um, I've delivered to it, but I've never actually like had time to go in and do it, and then personally go just for that. No. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, well, you know, maybe we'll, Some, maybe we'll make that happen one of these days. <laughs> someday, I'll get out there someday. Yeah, you know. We can. We have ways to get you in. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's no problem. Yeah. Can I bribe you with some steaks? You have to work. You have to work. <laughs> You're in time. Just get to Las Vegas. All you got to do is get to Vegas. All right. Oh yeah! Don't tell Don't tell Tyvin all he has to do is get to Las Vegas. He'll be outside. Wait, uh, Mr. Holster just put up a whole bunch of Russian stuff on the screen. Oh, I, I can't read it, but um, says Vladislavsky Sklavsky Sklav. Comrade. Yeah. Um, Trump. The only thing I can read in there is the Trump part. Oh, okay. No, no, I can't read that at all. I was never, um, I was growing up, it was spoken, but it was never taught to me. So, anyways, that's wow. it. Yeah, TJ Blaze says, Shot Show, Swag, Mystery Box is cool. I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the Mystery Box thing together. I'm going to see how soon I can get that implemented. But what I want is to put cool things in the Mystery Box. So, I'm going to have to try to, like figure out how to make that happen, get some cool stuff in there. I don't know that we could do that every day, but we'll see how often we could do it. And it'll be, you know, it'll be a nice, I think it'll be a nice experiment, nice thing to do, see how the folks like it. Hunts for Food 67 says laugh out loud on Mr. Holster and uh, coming up with the with the Russian stuff. So there you go. Uh, you can fill your box with balls and number the balls and then draw them out. Yeah. <laughs> you can fill the box with your balls. No, I'm talking. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Oh my! Uh, Snooch says, uh, "Gavidish Perkowski Miet." I don't know what that means. Yet, probably something really, really, really obnoxiously <laughs> obscene. What, what, what's on, what's oh. Walter not sharing? I think Will Killer Keller says, uh, "Translate according to Google Translate." Uh, Walter will not share his hats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Polish beats Russian, says Warsaw Patriot. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Glad in it too. All right. Ho, 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 mofo. Here we go. Back. Yeah. All right. So when's oh, uh, no, when's his there. rifle going out that he won? Have you already got it shipped? Um, I think we've, we're waiting. Did we get the information from the winner of the rifle to send out the rifle? It's going to go out sometime this week. I don't know whether or not Lola has the info. I know we're <laughs> we've we've been in communication with him and everything. So. Okay. Yeah. I had to go to bed. I didn't get a chance to wait up for the winter, but he got the rifle. Does it come with a case or anything or just the rifle? Uh, it's a case. It's a case. And then um, and then the real cool Joe gave some money, so there'll be some ammo. We've got to figure that out, the logistics of sending oh. the ammo. Because I don't know if the card. FFL is going to – the FFL may not necessarily want to see that. <laughs> what do we'll, you we'll have to, Yeah, the ammo. Um, send it separately. You don't want to put it together. Right? Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. want to. Yeah, but we'll we'll work all that stuff out. It does come with a it comes with a case, a carrying case. Um, awesome. It comes with a little itty bitty 308 magazine. 
And there'll be some other things in there. I'll put in instructions for all the stuff that it came with. I might have to send a whole separate box so that all the things that it comes with in the instructions, like specifically for the UM Tactical, you're going to have to have instructions to, uh, you know, to get that or look up a video, um, which is what I usually awesome. end up doing. So there you go. Um, so do we have some news things that we want to talk about, Walter? Well, yeah, I hate yeah. it. Let me take a look. Um, Oh, let me see. North Korea fires a ballistic missile. That's nah, not news, really. Yeah, uh, but now, according to this, they're within striking distance of Washington, D.C. with a I, ICBM. Yeah, well. Yeah, then, North Korea shot their ro rocket today. It landed like 20 miles uh, west of the Japan coastline. Yeah, they're getting real dangerous, but like I said, you know, South Korea doesn't really want to do anything because obviously they're really close. We're having the Winter Games in South Korea. In yeah. like two months or so, I don't know, so coming up soon. You want some gun news? Uh, what, you don't want to talk about North Korea? Oh, you can talk. Keep going. No, I'm just, you know. The Korean soldier, like the, the North Korean guy was full of worm. Did you see that? Yeah, what? that was disgusting. Yeah, Andy had, Andy had, Andy had, um, um, what do you call it? The stuff in your lungs um, that kills people. Um, Asbestos. TB. And he had some other disease, too, so. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you really, you really think, you might as well just stay there. Let me say this: you you think the North Koreans could fight a protracted war when their soldiers are full of worms? Yet, no. I mean, no, you know, they don't know fight nothing. <laughs> they couldn't feed them for a day. How are you going to feed? You got to feed your soldiers, man. They don't. They go. Yeah, you know what? Wow. Um, I, listen, that whole thing is a mess, and I think that you know. They're pretty sure that we're not going to do anything. Um, I mean, you you know, hit so we're not going to do anything cause, about it. Yeah. You know, uh, it, anyways, we don't want to have to do that, but it, it might come down to that eventually. Yeah, what I was going to say, uh, I, see, I see some firearms uh, blog news. The U.S. Army officially cancels the ICSR program. So one of their de rifle development programs, they shut it down again. So. Well, they just also announced that they're bringing a bunch of the old Army surplus weapons marker for sale 1911s m1 grands well that's something else that's that's been in the works they've been selling grands from m1 carbines for a long time but the 1911s yeah that's they just authorized the money to transfer them to the to the civilians marksmanship program so yeah so that should be rolling out anytime soon right that should okay. probably you know i would imagine it'll be sometime next summer something like that um, because they yes. got to classify them and test them and grade them and all that stuff and it takes time, so. Yeah, baby face. What up? Holy moly, we got some big donations right here in the chat. Oh yeah, yeah. What is going on? Yeah, the real, the yeah. real Cujo, the real Cujo gave us a hundred bucks. I see that. And Snooch gave us one fifty ballers. That is some. Yeah. They're in, the, they're in the Hank Strange Platinum Club. Yeah, they're more balling. There you than go. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Hank, can I uh, just announce the, the giveaways real quick of what's going on? Oh, oh yeah, we forgot Schmeggy. Schmeggy gave us two bucks. So. <laughs> Schmeggy, too. Schmeggy deserves to be in there. He gave us a hard-earned two bucks. Hard-earned from Schmeggy. So we should not we should not forget about that. Uh, what did you want to do, Tyvin? I just want to announce what we're doing, and then you can do the giveaway in a little while. That way everybody just knows what's going okay, on. Okay, yeah, so go ahead and talk about what we're going to do. All right, tonight... Uh, special gratitude. Turn your, turn your phone to, sideways. Turn your phone sideways. Uh, I'm just going to announce that my phone's not, or my camera's not on yet. Oh, we can see you. I Hold can on. see. I can see you. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> he took the light off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. uh, two uh, awesome companies that's uh, helping us out here tonight on the 100th podcast of the Hank Strange Who Moved My Freedom podcast. We've got Omaha Steaks. They have donated eight five-ounce prime reserve ribeye crowns. Fresh cut. If you like it rare, medium rare, well, medium well, doesn't matter. Their steaks are always awesome, and they're going to ship them directly to your house. And we've also got five boxes of 6.5 Creedmoor, 143 grain, ELD-X Precision Hunter Ammo. Make sure you guys follow everybody on Twitter. We're going to do the giveaway later in the hour. 
Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, um, is it open to everybody, Tyvin? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk yeah. about those rules. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want yeah. to start there. I, I don't want no lead, but I do want some of them steaks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Babyface right now is firing up his Twitter account. <laughs> ready. I gotta, I gotta get yeah. right on it. Get ready, Peggy. Yeah. Get ready. Lola Let, says. Her, are, Lola says. Lola, Lola put the link in the description. Um, which link? Oh, Lola, can uh, you put the links in the description? He's to get excited. She says right. she's got no Twitter. My woman. And then who says she doesn't have Twitter? Peggy. Well, she could do it through. She could do it through this. Well, can she do it through the Safety Harbor Twitter? I guess. I, I guess. Yes. Yes. So there you go. That needs to be through the Safety yeah. Harbor phone. You've got a couple. Arms, listen, Twitter, whoever not doesn't have Twitter, Twitter, Walter. You have some time to sign up for Twitter. No. Yes. No. Lola says no. She doesn't want anyone else. To win you do have time go get signed up for twitter if you don't have one you got a couple minutes when are you going to do the first giveaway uh 45 after so i should have a place to park by then all right cool all right so let's uh welcome in our friend right here oh, you're, you're, there he goes babyface p hello there baby face. i am in my own personal empire of dirt <laughs> and Hank is now muted. Oh, my video is bad. No, I'm sorry. I muted my – Lola's trying to tell me something. Was it you or was it me? I just wanted to make sure it wasn't me. No, no. I, I muted the thing. Uh, Lola's trying to tell me something about Yeah, that video. your video is crappy. Was it your, is it your video or is it me? Is it my video that sucks? It's oh, shitty. I don't know. Okay. okay, everybody's saying it's shitty. It's not me. <laughs> yeah, there's something – yeah, I, I have no idea what's going on. Our internet's acting right. weird yeah, was, here. Your internet got ha it lagged for a little yeah. bit. Um, yeah, so I'm in, I'm in my own personal empire of dirt. I got all my dirty surroundings, like a nice mill. That's oh. awesome. Look at That's that. Awesome. Look at that. Yeah. We got a, uh, Look at that safe massive safe. Can we, can we see inside the safe? I actually shared this safe on social media, and everyone thinks it's my safe, and I was just laughing. Like, who the hell thinks my safe looks this organized? You're in the man yeah, cave. It's called the man cave. Because my safe has no freaking organization to it. No, see, the man cave is nice. That's my office upstairs. That's, like, nice and clean. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, that's a sexy save right there. All right. We got, we, let's see, we got an SBR, some pistol. Oh, well, it's actually kind of disorganized right now because I went to the range last weekend. This is disorganized? Uh, the ammo all is the all ammo? in one spot. That's crazy. Yeah, all the ammo is like, there's labels. Disorganized. Yeah, this not, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> labels. Uh, we got a python. Nice. I didn't step, see a humidifier back, in that room. Step back, step back a little bit so we can see the full. The full thing of the safe. Look at that. How's that? He's got lights in there and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I got yeah, a, I, I got a organized. I got a shitty revolver here that needs to have something <laughs> done to it. <laughs> that's that's it. Speak nice. So that's a family heirloom there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So that's I got a nice safe. Yeah. Walter, this. Do you, your your safe was famous for for like twenty four hours on the internet. Yeah. Look how clean that is. Ooh, that thing is pretty as a mohung now. Yeah, that oh, little, yeah. See? Look at he can one what? finger and ooh. Oh my ooh, goodness. So what did you clean this, this with? Start uh, hey, make sure you spray that down with WD forty on oh, that it's, deck it's already, or a rust down there where you're at. No, nah, it's already oiled with motor oil. It's oh, good. motor oil? Okay. Yeah, I, um, don't no, I don't see no chips, so they they don't count. It hasn't been used. There you yet. go. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I, I've been busy working on uh, here, I worked on this last night. So we started finally. If you ain't throwing chip, up. I don't know I, what time. I've been breaking up a little bit. Yeah, Tyvin, uh, you're breaking up. This is the the 1903 pocket hammerless that I bought. The, oh, the oh, other one, yeah. nice and blued. I took it down and blued it last night. <laughs> I have a bunch of small parts blued, and then I have the other parts down next to me that. You. So, I'm finishing that up first, and then I'm gonna start working on. Well, whenever your um. Whenever your thing comes in, I gotta help put the. I think I still have your slide for your Glock. Yeah, we're working on some stuff. We're yeah, we got some yeah. things to and some cool yeah. stuff. We have projects. That's how we're gonna put it. We have, we have projects that we're working on. Uh, yeah. Someone wants to know what lights you're using, Babyface, in the safe. Terrible one. Oh, in the safe? Oh, they're the ones off of Amazon. Um, yeah. I didn't go for the expensive one. So uh, Liberty Safes makes a lighting kit, but it's really expensive. So I went for the one safe lights. This this is the Jared, one. send me your address. So I got some LED lights I'll send you and hook you up with, dude. For oh, what? For my, my personal for my laptop? <laughs> no, for your ceiling and stuff. I used to own a an LED company 
And I used oh, to really? sell the uh, four foot tubes, the LED tubes. Oh, yeah. So oh. I, I've got a stock of about 400 left. Oh, really? I'll hook you up. <laughs> so you, hang on, hang Lights on. for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I, my, my garage, as you can see, is, is kind of dark. So. Ivan, you, you mean the, the LED replacements for the, for the fluorescent ones? Yes, they're a direct replacement. You can run them with ballast or without ballast. Okay. They're just, uh, you pull the bulb out and you put that in there and they're good to go. We got to talk. I need some, man. Here's. Oh, I, I got you covered. Just right. text me later. Uh, I just stuck right. it in chat. Those are the, that's the lighting kit that I use. Those things are awesome. We replaced some of the lights in our, in our shop area. And I uh, tell you what, you flip them on, there ain't no flitter and there ain't no. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the starters going bad or anything. <laughs> like this. Yeah. This well, the, with these bulbs, you can run with ballast or without ballast. We took the and they're a direct replacement. Yeah, they're yeah. a direct replacement for a regular tube. They don't break. You don't have to worry about it. Lifetime warranty. <laughs> no, we, uh, we, we took the ballasts out and hooked them up yeah. and directed those things. <laughs> uh, Brian Quick says, why do I have a feeling that lead tubes are going to be in the first mystery box? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking you're right. Yeah, you should. You should totally send us some of those lights to put in the mystery <laughs> box. Hey, speaking of lights for safe, this is the one that a, a, a few shows ago, El Tendo mentioned. These things, they have them at Walmart. They look like a, they look like an, a regular switch on the wall, but it's actually a complete light. Oh, that's, oh, cool. that's yeah, cool. Yeah, I like that. It runs off of a couple of double A's. These things freaking rock. You know, I mean, if yeah. you want to put them in your safe, you probably put a little bit of Velcro in the back and stick them to the, to the fabric in the safe. I, always, I have them loose because I usually I, I've got, I haven't got around to the Velcro thing. But Yeah. Did you get those because of uh, because of El Tendo yep. was talking about it? Yep. Or you had them already? No, I, w I did it because he mentioned it, and, and I found them at the Walmart. And, um, oh, okay. They were like $3 a piece or something, and they rock. Right. Okay, cool. Shout out to El Tenda. I think this is probably a good time to talk about our first, since we've got Babyface and everyone's here. So, uh, first, get, no, episode number one. Who knows who was the guest for episode number one? Let's see. Who knows the guest? I just um, watched and, it today. <laughs> and guess what? I, I've got some stickers here from WMD Guns. Let's see some people in the chat, you know, say, I'm gonna go tell me who's the... I gotta go look at the YouTube channel. Who was the, who was the first guest in episode number one? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know which one I showed up on. I feel like I saw it. Oh God, who was it? This should be an easy one. Um, David A says Elvis. <laughs> what? Elvis. Pops out of gun scared. control says not me. E. Coco says Walter. Nope. Nope. Gorillas and Guns says I don't know. Uh, Hunts for food. Says was Mark it? Krebs. No, it wasn't Mark Krebs. Joe Carpenter was, uh, says Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a clue. It's he who shall not be named, <laughs> except it's not the name of, like, it's it's close to the name of he who shall not be named. Oh, okay. I remember here. You, you don't have a number on it. <laughs> I don't have a number on it? Oh, wait, I'm I looking at the wrong one. I must have. I don't, I don't I see well with the riddle things, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I see. I see. Okay, so two. who's who's he who shall not be named? Let's start Voldemort. there. Voldemort. I just put in a chat. Yeah, Voldemort. Patrick. Yeah. Voldemort. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, so it's, it's Lord Bottom Voldemort is he who Bottom should not be named. Yeah. So <laughs> Lord Bod Voldemort. Voldemort. <laughs> it was our first guest. That's what I. I hope he's not watching. But yeah, remember, episode one. If he's watching, was, hey, what's up? Shout out to you. Are you gonna have him back I on? I, like, um, no. I don't know. Uh, he's crazy, and his tactics are horrible. Yeah, I don't know if we really need to to have him back on. <laughs> if you go look at that first episode, I don't think you need any more than that. Okay, so the first so. one that I see is Gillis Henry McKell Jr. says mm -hmm. vodka consulting. Is that would that count? <laughs> Boda, Boda. <laughs> Yeah, that counts. We could. Does, does he count as the winner? Uh, yeah, we could send it. We, listen. Yeah, get in touch with Lola. We've got a bunch. Actually, um, I don't know how many of these I have. Let me see. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I've got at least like 10 of these stickers. Some of them are white and some are orange from WMD Guns. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Save one for yeah. me. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put it on the, the side of the safe over here. I think you gave me two last week. Um, did I? Okay. Yeah, I can't remember. I'm always giving you stickers for your safe. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can show that off real quick. Yeah, you should have a ton of stickers. People, people like. Yeah, people like seeing that sort of stuff. Let's see. Hopefully, there's enough lighting. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, face. I haven't had a chance to check my PO box yet. If you'd sent those stickers to yeah, me yet or not. So you got a bunch of stickers on there. Uh, let me see. I see like Caltech, Gemtech, BCM. 
Um, uh, you're missing, Chris, you're messing, you're missing the most important one. IWI, I, yeah. I where is the? I I, I'm looking. It. I don't see a safety harbor. I don't think I have a safety harbor uh, one. I need a safety harbor that. one. I yeah. just you missed. I just ordered four thousand uh, uh, gnome stickers. So. No, I, okay, yeah, I need one of those then for sure. Yeah, all those stickers. Yeah, he ordered four thousand. Um, We're gonna get him to give us like a thousand of them. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, I put, uh, I got your your envelope out in the mail yesterday, so you should oh, get it in a day or two. And somebody else, who was it? Uh, gorillas and guns. Your thing should be going out in the mail tomorrow. I didn't have well, time. We're, to we're working on all that stuff on our end here, so. Yeah. Yeah, between work and then I come home and I'm like, oh, I don't have anything to do. I don't. I totally forget about it. <laughs> the power on. Yeah. Oh, I know what you do. You come home and then you jump. You go into the video games, and video now games you've got like that virtual, that virtual reality oh, thing. Dude. Seriously, yeah. it's awesome. And I know what you're doing with the virtual realities. I haven't tried it yet. I'm just throwing that don't out there. Don't lie to me. I know you've been doing. It. I know you've been doing porn. I haven't doing tried it yet. Don't I'm lie. Don't cool. lie. Why are you lying? <laughs> We know. You know, I would admit, I would admit if I you know, dabbled in the the dark arts, but I have yeah. yet to. We you know, you've been, you shouldn't be doing none of that other stuff. Oh, okay, I guarantee you, he's been looking at the big booty milf porn. Okay, <laughs> in VR. Yeah, in VR. Oh my God, I guarantee you. Oh God. Don't let that innocent baby face fool you. He's not. He's not. Oh, I'm working on. Uh, somebody's asking about the Seamus swag and stuff. We're getting ready to work on all that. So, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. get the stuff out to you guys. Okay, absolutely. Very uh, cool. Go Hank, ahead. Are you going to have a T-shirt in your shop that says Hank Strange, SEMA 2017? Uh, it's too late for that. Yeah, we could do 18. Yeah, we could do a 2018 one. Maybe we can design a 2018 SEMA shirt. 2018 for next year? Yeah. For, well, that yeah, way yeah. when you go out there. I don't know, man. I ain't making no money off of SEMA, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm giving them no love. Uh, giveaway uh, time. Yeah, Walter says yeah. he's not. He's not giving them any love. That's Lola says. Know. Lola says she's ready for the giveaway. What do you want to give away uh, first, Ivan? <laughs> All right, give, give, give me a couple more minutes. Let me find a parking spot. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Tyvin needs some some more time here. Uh, so that first episode was June twelfth, by the way, guys. June twelfth of last year. Of this 12th? year. It was no. June twelfth, really? Of this year, I mean, yeah, I think Holy it was crap, of this year, right, Lola? Yeah. Hey, you know what? Yeah. We were on vacation. I was on like one of the second ones or third ones or something. I yeah, think. while you, you were on the second. Yeah, while you were on vacation. Yeah, we, were, yeah we did it from the hotel room in um, in where? Cody, Cody Wyoming. Yeah, Cody, That's Wyoming. Right. That's right. Yep. Oh, okay. That yeah. was freaking awesome wow. vacation. Yeah, Lola wants to know what episode do you guys think was the most enjoyable? I know there's lots of folks who've probably come in lately, 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 maybe within the last like 50, 50 episodes or so. But let let us know what's your most enjoyable episode, Babyface. Do you have one? Most enjoyable episode? God no, they're all really fun. They're especially all, the all ones good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. So every episode <laughs> with Patrick R. Is your favorite episode? <laughs> I know. I, I did not was thinking that man when he was trolling him in the. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. Um, oh dear. So hold on a second. So popular po podcast. Lola says. So let us know what yours is. Lola said the uh, the one with the most views. And and consider here that we're doing podcasts that are somewhere between two and three hours. So the view numbers. So I think she says the six hour P three twenty safe or not. Episode thirty-eight was like fourteen thousand plus views. Wow! So is that the, that's the highest? highest I is? think that's the yeah. I think so. But you know, we take out some snippets, and some of the snippets go really big. Like uh, especially when we do snippets with Mac, and Mac has been in in a in a few yeah. episodes. Yeah. Um, and I think he was in episode seventy-six, right? The gun control new gun control threat is real. Yeah. Um, I think Mac was in that. That was episode 76. That was 11,500 plus views. Um, the I just saw the one you had with Kevin there with the shotgun. Yeah, it was today or yesterday. With Kevin? Yeah, uh, Kevin Dixie, you had the shotgun snippet. Oh, oh, yeah, his, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got a really nice, um, it's a browning, right? Nice browning. Yeah. Shotgun. The Vepper rifle band with Jim, uh, with Jim Fuller which we did from the Ozarks. We were in the Ozarks and Jim Fuller was on the phone. That was episode 10 and that's like 10,000 plus views, 10,509. Wow. So, um, and then the, the, the uh, Voda Consulting episode one, that was 9,213 views. I, I guarantee it's people 
the first run of it was probably pretty small because it was the first episode, and then people came back when all the voted stuff went crazy. Yeah, well, no, within the within the first forty eight hours, it went to something like six thousand views. Wow! Oh, good yeah. deal. Yeah, um, that was like a hot button issue at the time. If uh, if you guys haven't uh, if you guys haven't seen it, please go back and do it. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna say, let's see which one. Uh, let me try to get this from. Uh, when you're on your videos, make sure you like it. That way it'll repost it to Twitter and stuff for people to watch. Yeah. Um, okay, so Archangel says the Burl episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. What episode was that when we started torturing uh, Kevin about the Burl? Burl. Yeah. So we, got, we have to figure out what episode that is because now that has to become the Burl episode. The Burl. Yeah, we actually had – that has to get renamed. <laughs> the Burl. And he's going to hate that. Um Snooch says the Black Powder 50 Cal episode. Um, I think that's when we were talking about the uh, the Maxim 50 when it first came out. I can't even remember which one. Uh, David B. Kills, he's awesome. He should get a sticker, Lola. He says all episodes. All there episodes are his favorite episodes. <laughs> um, oh, man. Arm Kentuckian says my favorite was uh, Safety Harbor Firearms came back from Knob Creek. And um, he says it was the first one he watched. Oh, well. So that's cool. When Walter came back. <laughs> um, Mark Wagner says Mr. Guns and Gear and VSO. So Somebody else said Mr. Guns and Gear puts him to sleep. So It's really? that low, deep voice. Yeah. Man. Yeah, he's too – Guns and Gear is too sexy. He's, he's too, too – he's like soothing low voice, yeah, and he's, he's, he's really calm all the time. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. He's yeah, operated, baby. That's, that's you got to be afraid of those guys who are too calm. Yeah. It's the ones that don't he's talk scared. a lot that yeah. are the crazy ones. That he's can... nice. He's nice and calm, <laughs> and that should scare the shit out of you. Yes, <laughs> Dude, those are the guys you want to be around. The quiet, calm guys. No, those are the ones you want you got to watch or watch out for. Or, yeah, or they Gare's just murder you without anybody knowing. Yeah, Guns yep. and Gear is always fun. He was fun, right? When he was hanging out with us on the Hacienda. Yeah, yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish I would have been there. He seemed really cool. Yeah, he actually got some flack for that episode for the video. There was a video I think he put up. Because of the uh, Geltex? No, no, because <laughs> see, there were see, he he we don't do a lot of it. I don't do that much editing. He he definitely doesn't do that much editing. Mm -hmm. And I had a gun in my hand and it was empty and everything, and I had it like this. I didn't realize he was gonna step in front of me. Oh, go to the camera out. so he stuck like he he moved my hand up or something he moved my you know but he did to me he did what he was supposed to do i didn't realize he was going to cross me like that so yeah. he did something about it and you know we're trying to make a video Start saying he's rude yeah and he even said like after he did it, he was like hey i'm sorry but it was no big deal to me but no some, that's not yeah some people took that as him being rude i take that as we're on the range you don't yeah. have time to be polite you yeah that's gun know. safety yeah, so, but he is a good guy. He spent a lot of time with us. I think he drove from wherever he was in Florida. He drove for like three hours, maybe three and a half hours to yeah. come shoot with us. Then he was showing us a whole bunch of stuff like on how to, you know, some behind the scenes things on how to set up stuff. And then he did a, a bunch of videos with us. Right, Walter? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, then we went out and grabbed some grub and he had to go home because he was going to take his animal to the vet the next day. Yeah, and he went. So he went and got on the road. So I think he was awesome, and he's a good dude. And when he came on, he was he was great as well. So yeah, and VSO is always like, uh, I don't know. Are you guys surprised by VSO? Like when you do you guys know who VSO is? That uh, one time that I met him, he was super super friendly. Yeah, because if you look at his videos, you think that he's gonna probably be a little bit of an asshat. I could see that. <laughs> yeah, he was he was really funny. He was a really funny guy. He's to a funny to. dude. Yeah, he's always been like that. Yep. He's a big nerd. See, people, people like, uh, you know, I think underestimate him or something like that because he's like this big, beef, beefy dude. <laughs> yeah. But he's a nerd. He's a scientist, literally. So he's got, you know, he's got some degrees and stuff like that. Schmeggy42 says the G-Webs G -Webs was a good episode. Tango Hunter says he likes having a VSO on. He's great. Krebs, um, which we, sh we should remind you guys that... Um, Krebs custom raffle still going on. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hey, cool. real there quick, heads up. I'll be in the service plaza here on the New York Turnpike in two miles. All so right. Get ready for the giveaway. Nobody, Nobody go find him. Get ready. T minus okay. two miles and counting. T, T minus. minus two miles. Okay, so all the, the, the hookers that are trying to meet up with the Tyvon show, 
That's where right. was no, that? No, 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 I love my cherry wine. Oh. She treats me right. Mwah. Okay, you missed it. Where, where are you going? That's it? That's it. Oh, oh you're leaving? Lola's leaving. Oh, bye, Lola. See you. Bye, Lola. Lola's leaving. I don't even know if you guys even saw that, so I hope you did. It was in and out quick, man. That was a quickie. Yeah, yeah that was a quickie. That's, those are my specialties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I specialize in. <laughs> I give courses at that for anyone who needs, who needs a course. Courses. <laughs> Um, Nate, Nate, uh, Kelsky, Kelsey says, uh, hello, Lola Strange. She's out of here. Uh, everyone make sure you hit the thumbs up. So I think we've, we, we're bouncing around a hundred people watching right now. We nice. should have a hundred, uh, thumbs ups. How many do we have? Come on, let's get it. Sir. One mile. Yeah. Let's get those going. Tyvin. Yeah. Tyvin's about to get there. Cherry wine. I was just kidding. I was just kidding <laughs> about the hookers. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Oh, she's in the comments. No, no, I don't think she's in the comments. Oh. I'm just saying in case. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. GT407 said, Mr. Guns and Gear and Reed Henricks. Reed's always uh, cool coming on. He's been on twice. Yep. Um, I was surprised that he's into, like, wrestling. That was... Yo, brother. I'm kidding. Yeah. yeah, he's a big wrestling fan. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, e. Coco says, wow, not even a year old podcast and already giving away complete rifles. Hell All yeah. the channels yeah. haven't done that. Hank's the best. I've given away lots of guns as long as I've been doing uh, YouTube 99, videos. Oh, ooh, 99 likes and 102 views. Oh, what? 99 likes. So we're one like away from 100. Come on. Come on. Come, Come on. on. That's thanks to my son watching things. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. There you go. So some, we need one more thumbs up. We got, yeah, we got 105 viewers right now. That's freaking awesome. And we're yeah. about to give away something. We're waiting for Tyvin to pull in. I'm parking <laughs> right now. Put her in park. He's, he's parking a big, massive truck. This is. I wish we had GoPros on time. Then. Hey, I'm a we transportation oh, relocation engineer. I deal in dry goods commodities. Oh, okay. Uh, what did you say, Babyface? It looks like we're at 103. 104, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> The Tyvin Show reminds me, did anyone here watch, uh, it's one of my favorite movies, Big Trouble in Little China. Yes, I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. That's uh the ty that's the Tyvin show all day every day. <laughs> what was it? He there was this line in the beginning where where he's in his um in in his tractor trailer and he's like he's just r running down some stuff. Um, damn, I wish I remember those lines of what he was saying in the tractor trailer. It's funny. It's right in the beginning of the movie. Okay, so it looks like Tyvin's getting wound up, wound up here. Yes, sir. All right, make sure you guys listen very carefully. All right, okay. we've got eight, eight. five out, eight of them. Eight. Of eight. One, two, three, four, Wait, five, eight, six, seven, eight. Eight stakes are going to one person. Yes, sir. We've got eight five ounce private reserve ribeye crown from hey, Omaha Steaks. Count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. All right. Here's what you must do. I need uh, Walter and Hank. I need you to lock it either on either one of you guys, and I need you to hold up your steak knife and your fork. Okay, so here, let's do. I'm gonna do mine first. So here's my steak knife and fork. Well, right, just do it. Just do it all. All of them then, yeah, because okay, you so both got them. Up. Yeah. So I've got one up. Here's mine, but we can lock it on Walter. Because I ain't no steak my, knife. I'm out of plastic. <laughs> What the hell? So let's walk right. in on Walter. He's got the real deal. I got like the killer knife. <laughs> yeah, I got these right here. So I don't know there you go. Say. I don't know what to say. It's terrible. It's terrible. There you go. It's All terrible. right. Okay. So you, yeah. So so people have to take a picture of this, right? Are we are we take all a, on this? Can take, I try too? Yeah. Or? Everybody, yes, everybody good. but me. Okay. Can so you had a chance. Face. All right. You have to shout out, and you have to put in the word shout out. To at Omaha Steaks, at the Tyvin Show, at Hank Strange, at Safety Harbor Firearms, not Safety Harbor Walter, Safety Harbor Firearms. Um, I, th I think his okay. Walt's thing is at S H T F uh, S H S. Yeah, one of his S H T F Walt. I mean, uh, yeah, S H T F Walt. Yeah. He wants the company. Yeah. It's it's yeah. the other one. Your firearm. Oh, the other one. Okay, safety harbor firearms. That's Air it. Firearms. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. 
take a screenshot and put shout out to Omaha at Omaha Steaks at Hank Strange at the Diving Show and at Safety Harbor Firearms and Babyface. What's yours? Don't uh, I don't know. So just skip it. <laughs> All right. So we're forgetting him. First one to do that with the picture with the knife and the fork up will win. Go. Okay. Uh, so and then go. Walter or um, Hank, I need you to watch Twitter because I can't do it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll be watching. We'll be watching. Here's my. Here's so I my realize. I realize I was gonna go for it, but it's unfair because there's like a ten to fifteen second delay. Listen, I, I encourage everyone to try to do it. And here, I'll tell you guys why. Everyone should try to do it because, you know, we want Omaha Steaks to see some reactions going up. Right. Okay. So yes. uh, I'm going to post something right now. And um, what, what was it? You have to say shout out to. Shout out to at Omaha Steaks, at the Diving Show, at Hank Strange, at Safety Harbor Firearms with the picture and it has to be with the picture of the fork and the knife it can't be like down or blurred i'd like to thank at uh uh safety uh oh your audio changed yeah oh, your audio, you okay so at omaha stakes at uh the tyvin show go. there we go i tweeted out there you go guys. at tyvin show there you go. and then at and we would like to thank uh omaha stakes for all of their great help and participation and giving this opportunity to uh uh give out some great stakes make sure you go check out omahastakes.com they've got a bunch of offers going on right now great deals some of them are half off all the way up and they've got flay steaks roast ribeyes uh, all kind of great. Just if you're in the meat and you like meat, go check out Omaha Steaks. Now I just Sorry. got made it. Some, uh, flying Rich. Okay, it looks like KY Firearms <laughs> Network did it. Hell I see yeah. Flying, flying Rich. Is that who, That's who, well, was, who? Well, who was the first one? Who was the first one? Two minutes ago was uh, at, at KY Firearms, so I think he was the first one because he did it two minutes ago. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, but he has all the names right, correct? He says, it says uh, shout yeah. out. Yeah, he says uh, shout out Tyvin Show, Omaha Steaks, Hank Strains, SHF, Walt. Yep. So there you go. And, and who was it again? KY what? KY Firearms Network. Firearms Network. All right, I'm writing your name down, and we will be in contact with you. Yeah, so there you go. So the first one is given away. <laughs> yep. Um, and then for the next giveaway, we're going to have five boxes of Hornaday, 6.5 Creedmoor, 143 grain, ELD-X Precision Hunter Ammo. So make sure you guys go check out Hornaday, and then uh, we will announce that here later in the next hour or so for the second giveaway. Yeah, absolutely. And if anyone out there that does have Twitter, obviously, um, you know, Kentucky Firearms Network, he won it. But if you're on Twitter, just go out there and like that Twitter and repost it and all that other kind of cool stuff. You know, that helps. I think that, what is that, your radio? Uh, that's, that, that, that's my big, that's my air thing. I stopped. I'm on um, uh, I-90 up here in New York. I'm on my way over to Syracuse. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh, that's a hell of a drive. So, well, congratulations, yeah. Kentucky uh, yeah. Firearms Network, sir. We will be in contact. Yeah, he says thanks to everyone. So there you go. Uh, um, Mr. Gower say? says horny day. L laugh out loud. He likes that. Horny <laughs> so day. So Mark Wagner says, uh, when is Kentucky? Horny and, day. When is, when is Kentucky Firearms having the cookout? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's Hornady. I apologize. I said the name wrong. That's my fault. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, that's cool. There's fine. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> I call we, it. we butcher stuff all the time. That's what we do around here. Call it Camaro. Oh. Yeah, it's Camaro. Yeah. Camaro. Yeah, it's a Camaro. <laughs> it's a Camaro for credit. Is it a car? It's a Camaro. Oh. It's a Horny car. Day. What do you want me to say? It's a Camaro. It's a Camaro. <laughs> 
Is that is that like your white person accent or something? Yeah. <laughs> That's my like old white Floridian old white person. with the eighties with like I mean, a bleached out eighties haircut. My Camaro, please. <laughs> where's my Camaro? <laughs> Yeah. Walter, yeah. Walter, where's my Camaro? <laughs> Why are you thank, me involved with this? I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm uh, and thank, I'm, thanks again to Omaha Steaks, guys, and everybody over there at Omaha yeah. Steaks. Thanks for helping us out on this 100th edition of the Hank Strange Who Moved My Freedom podcast. Thank you at everybody at Omaha Steaks. Well, Hank, thank you, sir. Oh, well, thank you very much to you, Tyvin, for even doing it. We really appreciate it. It's freaking oh, yeah. awesome. People, people got to get some meat. Yeah, just call me the A1 sauce man. Yeah, I can't believe all the steaks that are being given out here. This is a whole yeah. cow at this point. And I ain't got oh, yeah. any. Yeah. Snooch says Camaro. <laughs> Camaro. <laughs> Camaro. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks a lot, Tyvin, for that. Walter, were you tweeting? Is that what's going on? No, I, I was just sending somebody a message saying he's giving away that 6.5 uh, Creedmoor ammo so to get it, to get on this ball. Yeah, to get ready. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, Glockadelic, Glockadelic came up with the words. He says from, from – um, Oh, my son said – <laughs> Yeah, from, from Big Trouble in Little China – this is the, this was the line. Just remember what old Jack Burton does when the earthquakes and the poison arrows fall from the sky and all the pillars of heaven shake. <laughs> What's that's he doing? What, like that's what he was. That's what he, how he was talking he when he was, he was in his he was in his tractor trailer driving. <sighs> the stakes are high now. Yeah, says. yeah. yeah we're gonna crash him gauge on ninety eight. Let them trackers roll ten four. Ten four. <laughs> blow the horn. Blow the horn. He's bounding uh, down. Yeah. I don't know if you could hear it or not. Yeah, we got it. Oh, yeah, we heard it. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Music lover says marijuana steaks? Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, no, no, no. I don't yeah. know. Um, that you eat the steaks after you do after the doobies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, now, just, just a heads up. I've ordered them Omaha steaks in the past, and I get them on a regular basis. They are some serious good cuts of steak. I mean... And they give you directions on how to cook them and everything. So if you want them just right or a certain way, they're they're the best you can get for what I. They're just better than you can get your local butcher. Now, how are you convincing these crazy people at Omaha Steaks to get give away, give away steaks? <laughs> and they watch. I'm not complaining. I'm happy. I'm happy. But you know, how are you doing ancient, this? <laughs> uh, ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> Yeah, but I know what that H is. I know what that is. That's a, some kind of happy ending going on there. Yes, sir. But I've had them in the ba in the past, man. And seriously, they're some of the only steaks that I can eat that I don't need a one sauce or put a rub on or anything. You stick them right on the grill. I get it up to about two quarter, two fifty, about nine minutes on each side. Cause I like mine more of a well, not well done, but well. Oh, okay. Flip no. it once. You're doing That's it all you wrong. Need. No. Wow, what's, the, what, medium, what's the problem? Medium rare or GTFO? Are you, man? Are you out of your mind? Oh, Do you want to get mad have, cow disease? Oh, hell yeah. you got to taste the beef. Okay. Not, you definitely That's don't. how you get not worms, man. Worm. Hockey puck. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Baby no, face no. don't have worms. Okay. You got okay. snakes. All right. All right. Let's hear it in the chat. How do you guys like your steaks? I, I like it slightly yeah. pink in the center. No blood running. And I, I, I cut off the, all the excess fat off of mine. And then, like I said, I put it on about 200, 225, about eight to nine minutes, and then just flip it once, eight to nine minutes, take it off, it's done. There yeah. we go. Look at this. Yeah, medium rare, medium rare. You guys know what's up. If it's, if it's hot in the middle, medium rare is not bad. So I like mine. Oh, it has to be hot in the like middle. Yeah. Burnt, I like mine burnt to a crisp. Ooh, range one likes it rare. Recoil junkie likes it rare. See, see, that's a little too bloody for me. No, I, I gotta have a little bit of heat to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of warmth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Once it, uh, once it's now, cooked. Now, I was, I was talking to him about briskets and stuff. They also do that as well. You can get it briskets from them. A good brisket is delicious. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Burnt ends are the best part. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what. <laughs> the burnt ends. Thin ends on the on the end of the brisket, best piece of it. Good prime rib. Mm. You know, oh, I've never yeah. actually had a prime rib. Like candy. No. Prime ribs like candy. I can't do the prime rib, man. I gotta have mine medium, medium well. I I just I can't do the prime rib thing. I think uh, I think we did when Marley and I got engaged at Burn Steakhouse. I think we did Delmonico's, 
Oh, the burns, huh? You it did was, burn? It was hella good. Yeah, oh, Peggy Killer Keller likes that. Oh, yeah, I heard her in the background. Yeah, we went to Burns for to Yeah, get he him. went all out. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, he's a romantic son of a gun. It was like so you go up to you go up to the um you go up to the dessert room. We did not. Both of us were so full by the time we were done. It wasn't like you take the in the kitchen, you go down the yeah, wine we did the kitchen and the wine cellar, which is super yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it but was like it was like a two hundred dollar dinner. It was it was crazy. Yeah, you know, but what the heck, you know. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Cherry Wine is in the chat. She says, Happy one hundredth episode. Thank you very much, Cherry Wine. I love you, Cherry. You're the best. <laughs> uh, we all know that now, Tyvin. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, we, know, oh, yeah. We, know, yeah. we all we all love the cherry wine. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Yeah, I like my steaks well done, but sizzling in the fat. I like the, I like well, the fat see, now, on my steaks. I like my steaks medium well. She likes hers like rare to almost medium rare. So I'm always <laughs> cooking two different kind of steaks. Not There's a four outdoors. Nothing is worth eating unless it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sounds like some shit that, that Steve would say. Uh, uh, but you know, I mean, can we really argue with it? No, probably not. No. Yeah, you know, it's hard to believe that there's so many people out there that like their steaks different. I mean, there's yeah. such a variety of way of cooking it. It's just look, just take it on there, burn it, flip it, burn it, and you're good. Ivan, you ever you ever order pizza with a whole bunch of people? Order okay. pizza with a bunch of pe – oh, yeah. You got to get six large pizzas with everything. Pizza pepperoni. Done. Make it simple. <laughs> pepperoni. And that's cup of cheese, the cup only of pizza you should have is cheese pizza, Perry. Oh, hey, what are you talking that's about? The, that's it. And New no, York. No, you got to get pineapple on it as well, oh, man, with no. the pineapple I've been, juice. I've been killing me. I hate pineapple on pizza. Oh, I do like it. Oh, I'm dude. not against – the pineapple's okay, but, you know, seriously, cheese so, yeah, pizza, that's Chicago, all you need. There's the real – there's the real – No, life. forget Chicago. Dude. Yeah, New York. All the way. Nah, pizza. Chicago pizza is not pizza, nah, dude. Pizza no. all the way. I'm with uh, her. By the way, Cherry Wine says, aw. She thought that was cute, what you said. Burns. She thought that was oh, yeah. cute. Now, I've What's had that? pizza where the pizza place will actually take the pineapple juice and they'll mix it in the dough and then oh. spread the dough out and then cook it. That yeah. is awesome. Is that sweet? Bad at all. Does it like give it a sweet taste? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've had um, like buffalo wings pizza with pineapples. It's, it's, all nah. right. like it's got little pieces of buffalo chicken yeah. wings and, and, and pineapple, but cheese pizza. Nice. Like, hey, look, pizza if you're putting barbecue pizza. sauce in your pizza, so that's a, sacrilegious, man. You don't put barbecue sauce on pizza. So there's right now, there's a couple of uh, of people that are saying pineapple on pizza. I mean, I'm going to disagree yeah. with you, but there's a couple that are Have like, you yeah, ever had pineapple on a pizza? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like oh. the sweet on my pizza. Oh, do you, like, do you like pineapples, though? I do. See, I like I like fresh pineapple like sliced pineapple but i just don't like it in the combo i want my pineapple oh separate. My God. yeah the uh, range one the range one congratulates you on getting engaged oh yeah. thank you so, yeah awesome well, let me guess you're one of those black olive and mushroom type guys too huh oh okay, no so mushrooms are no good man mushrooms for me, are evil for me, oh, good pizza, 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 good pizza, pizza. Mushroom pizza oh yeah no no pepperoni mushroom. pepperoni mushrooms olives i'm sorry pepperoni uh. mushrooms green peppers and onions favorite thing uh, or yeah, I could do the onions good. and the green peppers. That's not too bad. For the barbecue chicken pizza, I'm all about it. The reason I brought the pizza up is exactly why. The reason I brought the pizza up. Look at all the different ideas, and it's just like steak. I like mine rare. I don't like it rare. I don't like it. You don't cut the fat enough. You know, you know, it's like okay, whatever. You know. Um, now let me ask you this. Yes, I've had pizzas where they'll cook the vegetables on it, and then I've had pizza where they'll cook the pizza and then they'll put fresh, cold. Like green peppers and oh. the onions, they don't cook it down. They oh, yeah, just sprinkle yeah. that across the top of it and eat um, it that way. No, That's you're good. not eating pizza if no. it, it's pizza. Really, should just be cheese. Pizza? People. No, you're crazy. <laughs> Pizza's not supposed to be a salad. Yeah, I mean, what the hell is all this crap crazy. going on a pizza for Get crying out loud? Gotta have some meat pizza on that pizza. Is like the the dough, some sauce, and some cheese. Oh, damn it! Crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, you only eat pizza that way when you're judging pizza because it's dough, sauce, and cheese. It's about the only thing you can really, you know, evaluate or test. Everything else is just extra. I don't like a bunch of stuff. And by the way, um, a pep, a, no, I, I had a vegetarian pizza one time. I was uh, in New York. I was running around. I think I was making like a music video or something. Anyway, I wound up eating this pizza, a vegetable pizza, and it had um, a bunch of mushrooms on there. 
and you have to you have to take your time and chew mushrooms because yeah. mushroom your body cannot digest those sons of bitches. You can't you can't eat a mushroom whole. That's crazy talk. Yeah, but they put like big chunks on there, and if you're in a rush and you're eating stuff, and you mushrooms, even if you yeah, mushrooms don't digest. Yeah, it's like corn. Yeah, you're gonna feel that one going all the way through. Hey, the best way is just chew it all up. You ain't gotta worry about it, or just don't order it on there, and you ain't gonna worry about it. Okay, all right. JGT four hundred seven says you're one hundred percent right, Hank. I guess on cheese. Yeah, Walter is is showing off a day woo. Yeah, it's a woo. Is it woo? Oh, oh, look at that. I do it from the from the thumbnail. One of my woos. Yeah, sexy. Hang woo. I, and oh, by the way, for anybody that doesn't know, the Kess stock will fit on the woo. Really? Uh, the AR Kess stock will fit on the so woo. Does yeah. it use the same buffer system as a M16? Pardon me? Does it use the same buffer system as an M16? Um, no, it doesn't. It's, no, it's, it's like an AK. Yeah, it's like an AK. I thought so. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. So, but... So but, you don't um, need the, the buffer spring or anything. You put the stock on, but you don't need yeah. the buffer and all that monkey business. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Gorillas and Guns says he <laughs> ate a half an ounce of magic mushrooms once. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, but I haven't ever had that, but I heard about it. And that that shit scares me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like people. Some people Isn't that called peyote or something? No, we're talking about I think those are different. The shrooms, uh, going, the shrooms yeah. are going. Cows are going yeah, the shrooms are going. The shrooms is what the uh, mystery ink crew ate, probably. Who was the uh, first person that thought that was a good idea? I, I don't know. The yeah. range one. The range one has to go. He says he's jamming with his blues buddies in an hour. He's got to grab man. a few guitars and hit the road. But he congratulates us on 100 show. So here's, here's my gun, Walter. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Oh, that's a. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, wait, 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 wait. What I get the it? hint. I get the hint. <laughs> I it's said a receiver. For a, yeah, for yeah, for an AK. <laughs> uh, no, are, are you ready for something to be welded? No, no. Walter's got my barrel. He's uh, gonna thread it for me. Oh, look, Kevin KD is in the chat. He got my barrel. Got my barrel. He says sup barrels. <laughs> that's that's what he says. So KD's in the chat. He says one hundred shows exclamation mark exclamation mark. Ex just imagine that with your best uh, St. Louis accent, you know, while KD <laughs> is driving down the road with, in his donk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's just rolling down the road in his donk right now. So, okay. to a, huh? so, to bring this up. What? Send it to Hank. Send the 1911 to Hank. You don't send it directly to me. I know we're not going to send a gun illegally, and then I'll, I'll do the, the, the trigger work. And it's not like I'm charging for it, so it's not gunsmithing work. It's free. Um, I think you were we like, should... you're like, oh, it's illegal. I'm like, I'm yeah, not... I think we should stay out of this conversation. <laughs> Send it to Hank. He's an FFL. Uh, okay. There you go. I, yeah. You know, if if HK found out that he was Duncan, they 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 don't HK yeah, don't they send him. He couldn't buy any guns again, right? What you think they would kick him out of the HK club? Because <laughs> if, that's the, if, that, if that's the case, let us all let us all. I don't want the dunk. Man. Photoshop some pictures of KD in a dunk. You think he can then, dunk out a Fiat five hundred? <laughs> <laughs> the wheels would be touching. Oh my god! But check it out. We should all get some photoshopped images of KD in a dunk, and then. Send it to like um, HK on Twitter and Instagram and everything. <laughs> That's what you want to do, Walter. You said you was gonna build that rat rod out of that five ton. You gotta make yeah. a donk out of that five ton. <laughs> I don't know. Um, he says he says something no. free on the way, baby face. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, oh, he was about uh, the about the trigger thing. Oh. Yeah, I got the I got the little thing. All I have to do is sear the sear the 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 uh, trigger um, sear the sear, and then send it back, and it should it yeah. should lighten it up a little bit. Uh, music lover says, "What is a donk?" Will Killer Keller says, "Donk a seven series BMW." <laughs> 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 um, David A says he has to run, but congrats on the one hundred. Thanks a lot, David A. We appreciate it. Chris Bullis says, "Donk a smart car." Uh, <laughs> and and and, uh, and Kevin's saying, "Donk with my four sixteen HK, baby." Yeah, I'm a donk a donk. <laughs> so for anyone who does like my best definition of a donk is the like if you've ever seen those uh seventies cars that usually have it with the big massive wheels, what are they like thirty inches or something? Oh crazy. Than, yeah, they're know. all lifted up and with the with a, the big they, massive wheels. They got a sidewall about this big. And, yeah. uh, and the rest is all the rest is all uh, wheel. 
Yeah, those are all donks. I think we should make Walter's Hummer his Humvee. Excuse uh, me. Oh uh, no. Humvee should be a donk. <laughs> that would be. Fight, that's fighting words now. That, no. <laughs> come on, that's a million views. It's a million that, views. No, no, no. <laughs> I can you can't have violent. donks around where I live at, dude. You rip out the rims and the tires so easily, dude. They just won't survive where I'm at. Yeah. Will Killer Keller says, do it. Donk, donk yeah, the Humvee. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Yeah. Yes. Donk the I Humvee. The background going, no, no. No. We, we, could, we could switch it back later. Yeah. I have just, enough. It's only 5,000 dogs worth of rims and tires. You're all yeah. right. That's all. Yeah. Uh, I carry my revolver. Says a donk is a woman's big ass. Also, <laughs> oh, that's a okay. badonka donk. Oh yeah, that's a badonka donk. Okay, you got to put yeah. a badonka on it. A, a, just a donk is a car, but the badonka when you put the badonka on there, then it becomes a bootie. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. That sounds yeah. French. It's Boutet. not. Your, it's not your beauty. It's your booty. <laughs> 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 because some of those girls ain't got no beauty, but they got a booty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, um, Aunt, Aunt <laughs> these nuts wants me to to badonk a donk the Audi. No. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, right. No. You got, if, if Walter can do the Hummer, the Humvee, Hank can do the Audi. Yeah. Um, my no. son is uh, no. Look. Forget it. Let's let's change. The subject. <laughs> no, forget it. Change subject. <laughs> yeah. Let's not talk about this right now. Oh, no. nice hat, Walter. Oh, thank you. I, I thought you'd like that. There you go. Yeah, where the hell is my like hat? That? I don't know where the hell my hat is. Baby face, I'll get you one. Yeah. Well, you got to, yeah, I need one. Yeah, yeah Lola, I'll says, up. Lola wants, when says, when is the next giveaway going on? Snooch says, hey, guys, thanks for the great time. I'm out. See you soon. And then he goes, snooch out. Snooch out. There you <laughs> go. Snooch out. <laughs> snooch out. Um, uh, NLC oh, got, says TJ Blaze got his Magpul sticker today with a new P Mag. Cool. Oh, there you go. I got something for you, Hank. Hold on. Hey, did you see on the news where um, what was that Friday? The Black Friday sales was the highest gun sales in recorded yeah. history. Yep, it was I like huge. It. I like it. And then, you know the funny part is they say we don't. What, what, what's going on? We don't understand. What? what why it's because people want guns. Everything is fucking cheap as shit right yeah, now. Yeah, what's not to understand? Wait, Wait what was yeah. that? I was reading something. What was the what was the thing? I miss what you guys are. Highest uh, Black Friday, highest gun sales. Because everything is so freaking cheap. That's why people For buy the last, stuff. Like, couple years. And yeah, no, right everybody. after that, the District of Columbia still banned assault weapons with inside the District of Columbia. Uh, mm. That needs well, to be Well, yeah, I mean, report. okay. Well, they, they passed it again. Oh, oh, okay. Well, bless their hearts. Yeah. Um. I see what hey, I was. You got. You got to check chat. The uh, throwing this in our chat. There you go. That's for you. If you think I'll. If you think uh, the rest of the, the rest of everybody should see it, I'll. Uh, I'll <laughs> throw it up. <laughs> oh, why do I have to be the one to test this thing? Everybody. Everybody in our chat can see it. I gotta go. Over uh, I can't do it. Look. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> yes. Throw this quick, up. Quick Photoshop for you Wait, guys. Throw this up. I'm gonna put this. Up. I'm gonna put this link in the chat. <laughs> okay, people, share that out. There's a quick Photoshop for everybody. <laughs> Please share. Hey, that. hey, baby face, tag me on Twitter with it so I can see right, it. Um, you hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, everyone needs to share that. Please. That's for Kevin. Kevin, that's that's all for you, man. Share it. This, yeah. Wait a minute. There it is. There it is. I gotta put it on my Facebook page. Okay, hold on a second. Um, <laughs> oh man. Kevin, 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 man. What's up? <laughs> God. Oh, Kevin doesn't kill me now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to save that to my desktop right quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, I don't know how long it's going to take before Kevin figures out yeah, that that's I'm been done. See it. But uh, I, please, I, I encourage everyone to post that up and tag me. Tag NOC <laughs> Firearms. Tag Babyface B because he did it. Tag is going to fucking murder me. And then uh, tag Walter and Tyvin. We're all over. We're on Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. Uh, make sure you tag HK, though. Please. HK must be tagged up in I that. looked for the biggest rims I could find. They they, they just had to be giant rims. No, it's freaking awesome. Um, By the way, uh, let's see. Where was Tyvin, I tweeted it at you. Yeah, Archangel uh, thank says, you. Uh, everyone call, I guess uh, Mac is talking about this, um, Military Arms Channel. Everyone call Congress tomorrow, support H.R. 38. Uh, call the House of Representatives switchboard at 202-225-3121. 
And uh, Tim, uh, Military Arms Channel is asking for the 2A support from everyone. I think that the, uh, what is it, reciprocity that's up? Are we trying to overload their phones or something? Yeah, I, I believe it's reciprocity that's up right now, so. Yeah, NLC. <laughs> Brian Quick. Brian Quick says about uh, the base. Kevin says, Babyface, what the hell? We're supposed to be brothers. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta find something about me and Photoshop it in. We got a battle going now. We got oh, a Photoshop boy. battle. Yeah. Lo so anyway, Lola says next giveaway, Tyvin. Where are you? Are you still on the road? Yep, still on the big road. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a few minutes, but everyone get ready. It's gonna be a Twitter thing, right, Tyvin? I can't stop. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, okay. Kevin says, "Got me looking like Rick Ross and crap." <laughs> um. Someone says, what is he doing? What the hell is he doing to that dog? What? I don't know what that means. Is there a dog in that? I don't see no dog. Oh, it was there? I didn't even see a dog. Let me go back up and look. In there. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I see a dang guy in a engine, I don't think. But yeah, aside from Katie's that. donk is out. <laughs> so yeah, so Katie says, it's on now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we oh, yeah, we got next time, next time Kevin's out. on, we're going to have something good come out. <laughs> yeah, there was a good joke. There was a good joke here. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm trying to roll back and see who had this joke. Um, I don't want to. I want to make sure I give the. Oh, here we go. Joe Carpenter says, how do you unlock a donk with a donk key? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's so stupid that's so stupid that's it's funny <laughs> who was that uh that was joe carpenter the guy actually who won the um 308 yesterday that was that was pretty that was pretty good i'll give you credit yeah so <laughs> it's like l sean Ted. let me see what is this uh-oh oh man is this don't tell me this is on the facebooks <laughs> You see, no, Kevin, I'm innocent, dude. I did not participate in this way, shape, or form. Oh, well, I cannot believe you, Tyvin. You're on the show. Oh, so don't, you... don't oh, jump out of it, Tyvin. Uh, Real Cujo put it on Facebook, so I just shared it to my – I just allowed that to go to my timeline. God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> so Jeez, it's on the Kevin. Facebooks now. <laughs> I feel like uh, the retribution on the Facebook. is going to be terrible. <laughs> I'm Look at baby face's face. Look at his oh, face, he's all red. I'm, he's blushing. I'm fucking crying. It's too good. <laughs> Seriously, you guys are just like chatting, and I'm like sitting here cutting out Kevin's face nice and quietly. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> are those bicycle wheels, though? Did you? I don't them? know what those are, but they're freaking huge. Yeah, but they look like they look thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like the, the, the rubber is like not even there. I don't know. Oh, am I? Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying, oh, that's the wrong person. I think I'm, Jackson Ullman was the winner. I don't know. I get people oh. mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, name, Carpenter, go, Joe Carpenter was not. Let me not get everyone all. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> Joe Carpenter, yeah. I forgot who won. Yeah, <laughs> let me not get that. <laughs> okay, I am dyslexic, so I do, I do switch. Dyslexic? I do switch up the names <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so there you go. That was really funny. I encourage everyone to share that on any social media that it goes on. God. Oh, God, what have I done? Yes. So, Kevin is just going to love that. Oh God, he's going to kill me. Uh, the only okay. thing is, you know, he should have had a gun in his hand. He should have had an HK. I, okay, okay. Oh, no. I'm going to make a change. Uh, he's going to make another one. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, poor Kevin. Oh, Kevin. We love Photoshop. I'm telling yeah. you, you can make some creative stuff. Yeah, Mark Wagner says everyone needs to share the Krebs raffle, by the way. Let me go pull that up. It's uh, up to $15,000. they have raised $15,000. We literally have a few days because I think the last day is um, – is December 1st, right? December 1st, yeah. So I'm going to put it – I'm going to put it in this chat. Um, if you, if you want to find it, anyone that's listening or watching us or whatever, it just search Krebs custom raffle. Uh, Will Killer Keller says it should be a donked out, out uh, MP5. MP5. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here I got a question for you. Any any Walter fans here? Yeah. I got a set yeah. Of, uh, I got a set of Walter playing cards. I got. Oh uh, yeah. Does anybody carry like a PPK or something? Get that? a cool playing cards. Are you doing a magic trick for us right now? <laughs> or is it giving them away? This is some more shot show yeah. swag. Does anybody? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. 
There is a. Uh, I'll put it in my shot show swag pile. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah, Joe Carpenter. Is, Joe Carpenter is crying <laughs> because I mistakenly identified him. <laughs> How do you don't tell you what? We'll, we'll send you. We'll send you a sticker. How about that? We'll send you. You can get a WMD sticker. <laughs> I know that's not a good. Not necessarily the best consolation. How do you dunk out an MP5? <laughs> well, you, you can't, but, you know. I don't know how you can. You need like Raymond Skull Salute says, where are these Photoshop pics uh, on Instagram? Betamag. Uh, you put a Betamag on the bottom, you got the big uh, old... I don't know. Did anyone put this on Instagram yet? <laughs> oh, um, let me know. If someone puts it on Instagram, tag me. This is for me. the chat. This is not to kill, <laughs> to kill Kevin's whole entire business. <laughs> Gorillas Baby and guys. Guys, you're so bad. That should be a T-shirt. That thing should be a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, no. What have I go, done? Gorillas and Guns oh. says, don't forget his GoFundMe to help out his cousin <laughs> Alex. Yeah. It's uh, GoFundMe slash help cousin Alex through chemo. They've only raised 270 so far, so check that out. GoFundMe uh, help cousin Alex through chemo. So check that out. Um, Real Cujo says his wife carries a Walther P, uh, P380. Music lover says he's got a PPQ. Yeah, uh, Will Killer Keller says substitute the car body for the MP5 and make Kate <laughs> the MP5. You want Kevin, like riding an MP5? Is that yeah. what you're kidding at? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> my, my Photoshop skills are decent, but that's really yeah. strange. Music <laughs> lover says bad baby P. Bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> Um, opt out of gun control says you better get some royalties from the shirt. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a good t-shirt. It's, on the internet. it's already free use now. <laughs> yeah. We'll it's on the internet. The internet. So, yeah. So check that out. Let's see. Um, how you making out? How you making out, Tyvin? Uh, I'm looking for a place now. I'll stay stay okay. tuned. All right, cool. Anyone up uh, now? Tyvin's going to give away something from Hornady. The Fire on Blog has an article. Um, and it's titled Hornady Improves Dangerous Game Hunting with DGX Bonded. So it says Hornady is up the ante of their dangerous game, E expanding or DGX bullet by making the DGX bonded uh, with a copper clad steel jacket that's bonded to the lead core. You get significantly improved performance on the large game. There you so, go. That's an article Ooh, that's out that's there. A shout. A sh yeah, shout out to Hornady just for, you know, um, like helping us give away some stuff. It we looks appreciate like it. Those in, yeah. uh, Make sure you guys follow Hornady and Omaha Steaks on Twitter. They do random giveaways and drawings and sales and all kind of good stuff. So make sure you guys follow them on Twitter. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. They do. It looks like those DGX bondeds are in the, like, uh, African hunting line. Yeah. Caliber 416 caliber 45. I wonder how much those are going for. Like, how expensive? Oh, they're going to be expensive. A 50 round box is probably going to be 50 bucks. A 20 round box. Uh, I'm, I'm just you, I, the I got, yeah, I don't know how much loaded ammo would be. It's probably really pricey. What ammo? I had my, go ahead. Go ahead. No, okay, I, was, I had my uh, 308 custom built from HM Defense, and I've ran several different kind of 308 rounds through it, and the best ones that I've ever shot were through the Hornady. So that's why Hornady I reached out to really them. Oh, dude, actually, I'm right shooting an inch group with my 308 at a, at 500 yards all day long. Wow. Okay. Actually, I have a box of Hornady Match uh, 308 168 grain Match King. Basically, they're like Sierra Match Kings, but the Hornady version. Yeah. Oh, cool. They're really nice bullets, though. Nice. Uh, Is that uh, some 300, 300 blackout loads there? It could be. I was going to do it for, um, I typically load it for the M1 Garand and my RFB, so actual 308, uh, 30 out 6 and 308. Um, it, the, the 300 blackout, I typically load the 220s because I like the subs. I tell you, the, the Hornady is the best ammo that I've shot and the majority of my rifles. You know, some ammos work better with different rifles. You know, you got to find that sweet spot with your rifle and what it likes and what it dislikes. This one that this yeah. Every one of my rifles shoot really, really good with it. That's all I bought. 
Hi. Yeah, I. That's why I reached out to him. It's like, it, hey, this is what we're doing. Would you like to be interested? So. Funny yeah. enough, when I when I so I've been reloading the Sierra Match Kings for a long time, um, the one sixty eight. Right. And when I went to go buy some, it was like thirty two bucks for or thirty two dollars for a hundred, and the Hornady Match were twenty five for a hundred. So I was like, shoot, I'll give it a try for for that that amount off. I'll totally give it a try. Yeah. So put that breakdown per bullet. Yeah. Um, uh, twenty. So it'd be like twenty five cents versus thirty two cents per. Um, and then okay. when I reload, I mean, depends on what you're reloading. Three hundred eight. I think my reloads are twenty five or thirty cents a shot. Yeah. No, no, that's per bullet. So it's probably forty to forty five cents a shot. Okay. Richard wow. Hughes wants to know if we did the ammo. Not yet. We're gonna do it. DC two Megaboo says, KD be like rolling down the street with my HK sipping on gin and juice. <laughs> Lay back. <laughs> my mind, all my money, all my money, all my mind. Yeah, so my there mind. you go. <laughs> that's so, an old song. Yeah, that's a classic. It's a classic. Yeah. Hey, you sp speaking yeah. of drinking and driving and all this stuff, you see, there's a, you see that. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> of drinking and driving. Yeah, that redneck home, uh, homeboy guy that, that drained out his uh, windshield wiper fluid and put and put uh, Jack Daniels in the in the pump tank and then ran a line no. under his dash. No. <laughs> Yeah. No, I need to look this up. That's amazing. And, and it pumps out the Jack Daniels right into his cup, man. <laughs> Seems uh, skills, skills. That's illegal. <laughs> that's survival. Yeah, that's an alcohol problem right there. You need help. <laughs> well, at least they couldn't get it for open container. Yeah, and, yeah, no container in the car. Why does it smell like whiskey? I don't know. <laughs> it's my bullshit. That's, you that's for, for the ice. That's for the ice. The the roads are icing up. Yeah, yeah. I chilled washer fluid. Let's see. Hey, Babyface, you have any use for any um Hornaday 110 grain round nose bullets, 30 caliber? I got 110 a, grains? 110 grain, 308 diameter. Yeah, I could load you up some uh, 300 blackout with those, I think. I'll bring them next time I see you. I'll give them to you. Do whatever you want. Yeah, I'll load you up a bunch of 300 black. You got uh, like 50 or 100? Uh, There's half a box or something. Yeah, I'll load them. I'll load them into. If you want 300 blackout, I'll load them as 300 blacks for you. Yeah, there we go. There's some. Yeah. Uh, my friend Theodore Jackson says, Congrats on the 100, Hank. Love the show. Thanks, Theo. That's known Theo for a long time. Long time. So thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Love you, long time. Yeah. Okay, so are you ready to do this, Tyvin? Uh, no, still looking for a spot, man. I'm on turnpike, oh, man. Uh, okay. Hey, I want to ask you: Is there any update on the uh, Brownells takeover? We got anything going on with that? Uh, year, right? No, we're still we're still working out. It's going to take us some time to work it out. It is going to happen, but we got to work out all the details. Okay, I just didn't know if there was a update or anything. Uh, no, not yet. Walter, did you have any news? Anything going on with you? Oh, going on with me? Yeah. Um, not no, just I guess just the normal stuff around the shop today, uh, or you know nothing, nothing too spectacular. As my son asked me always, it was there any uh, hijinks at the shop today, and no hijinks at the shop today. So, um, hey, um, here, hey, I'm looking on the firearms blog here. You know, I hope they have them at the shot show. Brett has got a new um, PMS sub machine gun. Sub machine gun, yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. You know, for all the people, you know, if you look on the internet or all these articles, oh, the submachine gun's dead. The submachine gun's dead. I love the sub gun. Really, it is. You I, ever seen BZ? You ever seen the MPX? You ever seen this? Yeah. The Beretta, the sub. I think they have. I think it's having a resurgence. If the anything, the submachine gun is not dead, my friend. I yeah. love sub guns personally. You know, it's got its place, and um, it's coming back stronger than ever. So, um, what else we got here? Oh, this is cool. Well, I Midwest Industries is making an M-Lock forearm for the Marlin lever action rifles. Whoa, that's kind of cool. And I, if you look at the picture on the Fires blog, that one they show there, I got one with a 16-inch barrel. It's badass. I'll have to be announced sometime. 4570? Yeah, it's pretty badass. Oh. Yeah. So, what, Walter, what all you got going on at SHOT Show? What's your booth number and, and what all are you doing at SHOT Show? All right, SHOT Show. For those guys that are going, that are lucky enough to be going, it is um, 20613. And that is oh, you already have your that is in the law enforcement area in the big ballroom. Yeah, he has the same booth every year. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. It's the coolest. Well, it's where all the cool people are in law enforcement. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, um, yeah, two zero six one three, um, and it's against the wall. So um, yeah, if you're in, if you're going to shot, stop by. 
um, and see the shit going on, you know, and we'll have some swag and, you know, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have all the internet celebrities stopping by and stuff. You know? <laughs> hey, you gonna have your shotguns, 50 cows, your stamp stuff, everything there. Um, we don't do too much of the Sten stuff. We might do a little bit this year, but, um, he's going to have all, a post-apocalyptic AR there. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I just oh, got to yeah. finish it. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have the parts right next to me somewhere. I brought them out here to start working on. I got to, got to weld it together. No, well, maybe I'll start working on that tonight. Oh, um, but yeah, we got, we'll have all our stuff there so you can stop by and brush your feet if you need to. And, and, um, you know, say hello. There you go. Yeah. I'm still looking for a spot, Hank. Don't look at first okay, spot, right, Almost okay. there. Okay. T-minus. Okay, babyface. Any news stuff? Anything's going on with you? Did you want? To uh, I just went and bought some stump killer and some acetone. Anybody know what that's going to get used for? Well, you're going to make be very surprised. Were you boiling up some crack or something? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> if anybody in the the, the uh, chat knows what stump killer is used make for, it, oh, I know what that's for. Trust me, I know what that's for. You can. What it, is it? Stump oh, killer? stump killer, yeah, for, for, powdered, for trees. Powdered, yeah, powdered stump killer for killing uh, trees, for killing stump. I'm a honey, I'm not a nitrate. <laughs> hey, no, use, no, 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 no. It's, use it's, promo it's code Tyvin when you buy it, man. I get you like 20% discount. At, at Home Depot? Do you have a, <laughs> you got a deal with Home Depot? <laughs> Binary X, man. I no, it's not, it's, not, it's not explosive. Not used for explosive. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Is that potassium, the, potassium nitrite. Uh, no, okay. potassium nitrate. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's an ingredient used in other stuff. So, KNO3, oh, okay. potassium nitrate, and it is for boiling. Turn it to about six hundred degrees, and it uh, works as a perfectly good bluing salt. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. That's how this got so dark. Oh, excellent. You see, you guys. Yeah, let me lock yeah, it on you. Okay, yeah. There you go. You do it yourself, uh, blue and stuff. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah blue and salt, and uh, you put it put it in a pot and boil it. Don't breathe the fumes from it, and it's uh, it works as a bluing salt. Yeah, well, I mean, it's cheap. It's like six bucks for sixteen for a pound of it, and two pounds boiled. Well, I mean, I've done three or four guns and and with two pounds, and it's just time to replace it. It's getting kind of grimy. Yeah. Oh, Hank, uh, we were talking the other day last yes last night about the CZ, the suppressed CZ Scorpion. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't. I want to mention. I went to that company's website that's making that can. Okay. And you can get one of their stainless steel cans for like five something. I think, I think that's the retail price. That's not the deal. Wow. Yeah, but well, are they price make, is coming down. Well, are they going to make a barrel for the CZ? Well, the barrel you've got to you've got to go in there and shorten the barrel. It's not making a barrel. You got to make it shorter. Oh, I thought that someone was just going to come out with a barrel that you could just swap no, the barrels just out. No, that integral, an integral, integral. Oh, you, Hank's favorite word. <laughs> Integrally suppressed. <laughs> so you'll have to go in and shorten the uh, barrel, and then just screw the can onto it into the handguard, and. Um, that's that's the whole gimmick to keep it short. So, um, but it's it's a reflex type can. So if you're familiar with those, they're pretty straight up. They're pretty pretty basic actually. Just basically baffles and space inside. There's nothing. nothing they like. um, they drink uh, uh, pumpkin spice lattes. Yeah, I don't understand what reflex type means. They're, they're basic bitches. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I think it's in Finland. There's a company called Reflex that. Their cans are real simple, just stamped, stamped steel cans. Yep, they're, I've seen that one. They they put them on AKs and Galils and stuff like that, and they're basically you shoot them till they start going wonky, and you get another one. Yeah, they're super inexpensive too. Right, right, right. So, have the prices of silencers come down since all this stuff's not uh, yeah. passing through or getting going through? Yes, yes. Yeah, like I, I got one mile. Get ready. One right. mile. Okay, it's coming up on it. Isn't it fifty six twenty or fifty two sixty? What's a feet for in a, how many feet in a mile? Five thousand two hundred and eighty three feet in a mile. There you go. There it is. Five thousand two eighty three feet coming up. So let's hit a news <laughs> thing real quick. This is uh, relative to Florida news uh, on the truth about guns. Floridians last chance to get open carry through the courts is dead. The US Supreme uh -oh. Court refused to take up the court the case. <laughs> of Norman v. Florida officially ending the fight for open carry for the Sunshine State via the judiciary. For now. Yeah. The case had its beginning when Fort Pierce resident Dale Lee Norman was arrested in February 2012 for inadvertently when his t-shirt rode up over his holstered oh, handgun. That's some that's, bullshit. That's, yeah, which is crazy. Just, yeah, there's no reason for that kind of stuff. That's just... Get the governor to party. pardon me, man. That was BS. 
they might. Yeah. yeah, there's no reason for that. But you know, the Supreme Court just doesn't. They're trying. They don't want to take up anything. So that's. Well, they don't want to do anything like controversial. Yeah. yeah, they're all. They're trying it's to. It's not like it's their job sense. or anything. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. also they uh, <laughs> also they also let was it what, what state was it they were going to take up the Second Amendment stuff too the ban assault weapons ban or something in one of the mm -hmm. states, but they didn't. They, once again, they didn't do that either. So. Um, yeah. Well, well I'm pretty sure they know the outcome. <laughs> U.S. Army shopping for snipe, sniper rifle suppressors. That's wait, what are they doing? They put out a federal bid ops for suppressors for the M24 sniper weapon system. Oh, they're they're out looking for cans they're right now. For new cans, yeah. And then right wow. Below, right below that's the ad, the uh, the article about the CMP rece receiving ten thousand surplus. I saw that. They're going to do it's ten thousand a year, and I I thought they had like a hundred eighty thousand of them. There's a lot sitting, so it this, this yeah. will go on for years. I so. I've seen something somewhere that the the suggestion was going to be suggested retail would be around a thousand bucks. No, there be. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't see them all being worth a thousand dollars. There's no way for the higher, for the nicer ones. Yeah, and then I can see the, the the rat quality guns, which are just basically shooters, for four something. I really yeah, do. I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping it'll be four or five, um, and then you can. Yeah, and a lot of people are going bad mouth. Oh, they're all beat up and they're no good. Let me tell you. No. Let me tell you what's going to happen. As soon as those things hit the market, they'll be shipping them as fast as they can stick them in the box. Oh, yeah. I will be to buying. Two or three of them. Yeah, I'm gonna be in line for a couple. Of yeah, old, old parked ones like that are just super cool. Yeah, and you never know. You might. Yeah, I, my first, my first M1 Garand was a rat grade gun, and when I got it, I was like, oh man, I might repark this thing. <laughs> and then I ran the serial numbers, and it's like a 1941 gun. Yeah, wow. no, I can't do that. Okay. December 1941. So yeah, it's like the beginning of production, isn't it? Well, that's before it took off after Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. Boom. When it went crazy, so oh, okay, cool. Okay, Tyvon looks like he's ready. Looks like he's yep, ready. I'm ready. All right, guys, I want you to lock it on you, Hank, since this is your 100th podcast. Yay! All right, you got to get a screenshot of Hank right there. Give two thumbs up, Hank. Oh, oh. no, nice. Right there, you go. All right, we're going to give away. Five boxes of the 6.5 Creedmoor 143 grain ELDX Precision Hunter Ammo from Hornady. You got to go hashtag 100 at Team Hornaday at the Tyvon Show at Hank Strange at Safety Harbor Firearms right now. First person to tweet it out. We'll win five boxes of the 6.5 Creamore. We'd like to shout out Hornady for giving us this opportunity to do this giveaway. Make sure you go to Hornady's website. Also, follow them on their Twitter. So, shout out and thanks, everybody, over there at Hornady. And thanks to Hank Strange. And congratulations to your 100th podcast right here on YouTube. Subscribe, like, share, and retweet. All right, cool. So let me run down through this because we all, we all, let's all try to send out a tweet to Hornady so that they can see that you know we're doing some stuff. Regardless of who gets in there first, we'll let. Um, you must so, be inside the continental U.S. I forgot to say that. Yeah, someone. Um, I want to say it, that the flying rich already throw something up. You got to have a picture That's of you with both thumbs up. Hashtag one hundred. Looks if like. Somebody, uh, if somebody got it up already, that is freaking impressive. It looks like Flying Rich has it up 30 ah, seconds, 38 seconds ago, but we can confirm that. We can confirm that. I'm going to throw I'm gonna throw it up anyway. <laughs> Richard Hughes, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what you was it? Hash I creed more ammo. <laughs> yeah. Hash Hashtag 100. Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shout, shout out at Team Hornaday at the Tyvon Show. At Hank Strange and at Walter, uh, be, uh, at Safety Harbor Firearms. Hashtag 100 at, man, this is a lot of work, man. Hey, we got to give everybody props. And we really like to thank um, at Team Hornaday on their Twitter for giving this opportunity to give these five boxes of ammo yeah. away. 
So everyone go out there and tweet that out right now. Um, looks like, uh, so Flying Rich, he's the guy who did it, right? He's the one who did it first. But we have some other people out there um, doing it. If, if anyone's tweet uh, putting out tweets right now, I'm going to go in and uh, retweet your tweet <laughs> right now. So, what what was his Twitter? Because I need to be able to contact him. Uh, Flying Rich. It's at Flying Rich with the F capitalized and the R capitalized. So it's F F L Y R I C H. F L Y I N G Flying Rich R I C H. All right, I got you, sir, and I will DM with you to get your uh, information over to Team Hornaday. And congratulations on your win, sir. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. And thanks to uh, Hornady for uh, helping us out with that. That was really cool. Thanks for everyone for, uh, you know, participating in this. Guys, don't forget to click the thumbs up. I know that we're approaching the end somewhere here. It's going to get a little bit wild and crazy going towards the end. But, you know, I mean. Thanks, everybody. Right. Make sure you guys go over to Hornaday's website. And check out all of their uh, products that they have. Um, if you're wanting to get good quality ammo and, and match grade stuff, check out at Team Hornaday on their uh, Twitter and go over there to their website and order. They do have some great offers. Um, they got videos on their ammo and how they produce them, make them, and all the technology that goes into making their ammo. Definitely some top-notch quality stuff. So thanks again to everybody at Team Hornaday. We appreciate you participating in the Hank Strange Who Moved My Freedom podcast, the 100th edition. <laughs> Absolutely. I, uh, I think I, I actually – that shit. I tell you what, man, you got that down. <laughs> sure. I think I actually shot some of that quantity ammo in a – it was the Ruger Precision Rifle in 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, right. And – I'm pretty sure it was, I mean, I'm not a great, great shot, but I'm pretty sure it was like three quarter MOA at hundred yards. Like it could have been yeah. better if you put a better shooter behind the gun, but I was hitting like three quarter to one MOA. Pretty Dude, easy. I have never had a failed round. I've never yeah. had a bad round six from five Hornaday. Creedmoor. Six five Creedmoor is a really neat round, I think. Yes, yes. it is. Yeah, very flat shooting, obviously. Yeah, yeah it's really, really like, cool. Yeah. I really like it. Um, the, 50, the 50 BMG AMAX round two for the 50 cals so 50 bmg oh how many does you're that, saying that's yeah, probably a really expensive round i'm guessing that's about yeah. five but if you want quality and you're wanting precision and if you're hunting one shot one kill hornaday is the way to go Here's the man walter have you ever turned any bullets down on a lathe just like high precision i haven't uh, we've turned some bullets in the shop um Chris has, but um, I have never loaded any any myself actually. So, okay. did he have any luck with them? Was he happy? Uh, he was shooting them out of. He made a uh, five ten whisper, I believe it was. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> is someone's phone ringing? <laughs> hey, Bill. Not, not my whisper. She's paying bills. Yeah. For, oh, oh, that's five ten whisper. Yeah, it's a it's a shortened um, three thirty eight Lapua Magnum. Is a parent cartridge. Hmm. And I do believe Lola put a link down in the description below for Hornet I, today, so if you guys need to check that out. I think. I didn't know if she'd done it yet or not, Hank. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm it's been down check on that for you. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. To receive the 510 diameter bullet. Huh. Well, all, all 50 calibers, 50 BMG is 510. That's 510? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's 510 on the... Uh, it's a land and grooves thing. Fifty caliber on the lands and, or the groove. Uh, yeah, whatever it is. Technically, yeah. it's five ten down there. Um, awesome! Wow, it looks like honestly, it just kind of looks like a giant three hundred blackout. <laughs> really? Like, like really, it looks like a fifty caliber size three hundred blackout. It's, that, it's got that same like case shape and everything. It's kind of cool. Yeah. No, it's 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 a suppressed round. You know, that's that's yeah. where. It, that's where it Do was. Do they ever make out. a subsonic uh, 50 cal round for like yeah. suppressors yeah. and stuff, that? or is that just too big? Just no, subsonic. It, it's not too big, and it's way fun 50 cal suppressed. Especially, really? Especially through a suppressor. It's like, Sub it's like it has doesn't have a hardly any recoil, and it's really quiet. So. 
Is that something people? you're planning on doing soon? Is making a suppressor for your 50 cows? Yeah, um, I'm not planning on it, um, but I've used some other people's here, and um, it works pretty good. I mean, I could build a can, but we'll see. Right now, right now, the can market's not something I want to spend a lot of time. <laughs> this is probably not a good time to jump in. No. Nah. Yeah. But, you know, it'd be nice to get something, like, perfected then, so if it does change, then you can... You can Whoa. You can, what's that? that is, I'm watching a guy shoot a sub 50. <sighs> that is crazy quiet, and it's a 690 grain bullet going a thousand feet per second. Yeah, and it, it's that still is freaking cool. So, yeah, I, I can't remember oh, how fast is subsonic versus sonic right at a thousand feet, depending on altitude. Yeah, right at that. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it's it's way it's way fun. To that shoot. is super cool because there's no Did you see the bullet when you shoot subsonic. Um, almost. So funny, funny enough, when I shoot subs, sub 300 blackout, um, sub 300 black or sub nine, if I have the flashlight, if I have a flashlight on the front of my gun and I turn it on from your eye, almost kind of traces it. You can see the back of the bullet going off. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Cause I can see a 22 subsonic when I shoot it. Yeah. It's about the same. Yeah. It's pretty much about the same. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this news article in the chat for you guys because we could probably talk about this. Okay. Uh, briefly, I, you know, we. Um, so hold on. Let me actually throw this in the chat so everyone here could see this thing that I'm putting up. This is on the New York Post, and the headline says Clinton Eastwood machine gun turns up in unlikeliest of places. Um, so there's some pictures there. This looks like there's quite. But Hillary Clinton get pulled over and they found one in her trunk. No, no. There's a oh. machine. It's a it's a machine gun that looks something, something like this one, something like this. This is not real. Oh, that's a it's an MP40, isn't that? Yeah. So, uh, police holding a weapons amnesty were stunned after a man handed in Clint Eastwood's oh MP, Clint yeah Clint Eastwood's MP40 machine gun he used in the film where eagles dare. Oh, they better not destroy. Yeah, that. officers say the prop German sub gun, uh, submachine gun was dropped at a police station by an unnamed male who worked in the film industry. It's a prop <laughs> gun. What the hell is he turning it in for? Wait, is it actually? It's not a real gun. It's a prop gun. I think it was a prop gun. He yeah. told cops the MP40 submachine gun was used by Eastwood in the movie while he was disguised as a Nazi. He handed it in that at the Bridgewater, Bridgewater police station in Somerset. They should have been like, thing they could do is auction that thing off, dude. Oh, hell yeah. They're going, guaranteed they will. Hank is terrible freaking links. Why is that? <laughs> Everybody's hey, Walter, email or call the police station, ask him to buy it. Oh, well, my link is not working? I just linked it again. Oh, okay. Nope, page not found. They deleted it already. What? What? It's because it's because it's I guarantee it's because it's titled Clinton Eastwood machine gun. Yeah, they um, it's there's a typo. Clint yeah, Eastwood. why was it called yeah. Clinton? It's nothing to do. I with don't it. know. I, it was a typo on the article, so this yeah, article so might just be going up now. Yeah, this article. Yeah, they're probably putting up a new article. Yeah, this article is going up now. You know, I'm always searching the news. You know, I got to bring yeah. I got to bring the news to the peoples. Hank, the yeah. dummy gun, the dummy gun you got in your hand there. Yeah, that's the one that I'm working on. One of the ones I'm working on now for a lot. Oh, really? You're working on it for what? For a, to, for a live gun. Oh, you are. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the F FBP forty. Th this is the FBP forty. Okay, versus what he had in the movie, according to this article, was a uh, MP forty. MP forty. Okay. Yeah, but the one the one I'm welding back together is a post sample. Yeah. That's what that is. And then I have a assault gun here. See that? Salt. <laughs> it's actually loaded with salt. Oh my God! Is that a one of those fly killing uh, guns? Yeah. yeah, this is one of this the is one of those, assault. Yeah, this is an assault weapon right here. <laughs> Don't hit the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get a hold of Adam. Uh, Was that uh, Adam Savage from the MythBusters? He does a lot of those uh, Nerf gun rebuilds and makes mm -hmm. them look like real guns. Repaints and everything. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So 904 says something about me. Yeah, that's a fake gun. I'm a whole, that's a mo I think that was also a movie prop from somewhere. Yeah, I think it wasn't, but, a, it wasn't a live MP4. Yeah, but that's so stupid. Like, why is a dude turning in a movie prop for crying? Well, out? you got to remember. I would. And then, then if you got to remember in England, if if that bolt and things kind of work and things go bang, kind of. Was this in the, was this in the UK? Yeah, it was in the UK. So. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't here. It was That's over. why. Yeah, they're the way their guns are demilitarized is completely yeah, they, different from ours. If that yeah. was a functioning like 
Um, oh, they deleted that article even on my thing. I can't. Yeah, it's gone now. Yeah. What do you mean it's gone? Can't click on it. If you click the link, it's it's been removed from their from the website. Wow, well, it'll probably it'll probably come back. Yeah, there's yeah, ways to find it. Once it's on the internet, there's ways to find it. Just because uh, somebody deletes something, it's still there. I still yeah. got, I've still got it. I don't know about you guys. But I yeah, I still I, have I, it. I, I didn't I close my page yet it. with it. You can take a screenshot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways. Well, it's yeah, cool. it's not going. It's not disappearing. Any. It, it'll come back. Yeah. I think I should, I'm going to go look at this picture of um, Kevin's. Uh, oh yeah, I can, I Kevin's need to. Oh, no. I got to save that. I got to. I got to save. Uh, that. I got to look at this one more again. <laughs> oh, I'm glad funny. it tickled you guys so much at Kevin's expense. I think I'm going to. I'm going to try to make that the thumbnail. <laughs> oh God. Oh man. Oh yes. Poor Do Kevin. it. Yeah, that has that has to be the thumbnail. Of he hasn't. Video. He disappeared and hasn't come back yet. I think he's looking to hire an assassin. Who, Kevin? <laughs> gonna, I'm saving he's that. Like, man, I went in there to congratulate those dudes. <laughs> no, and, and they just donk bombed me. <laughs> they, they donked on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. I, you know, he's. A, Boss Hog says he found it. Just do a search. He oh, okay. probably fixed it by now. Yeah, he probably fixed it, and then it has a new URL because of that. Hey, Kevin's the one who said he liked donks now, right? Did he, or was he just explaining yeah. it on what? He said he owned one. He had like oh, a, uh, an a Back when he, he was said, yeah, he said he used to have one. Yeah, a donk. That's right. Let me oh, see. Man, that's saving my thing for now, forever. Hey, I'm you know you're you're racist. Quote of the day: Gun buyers are racists. Gun buyers. What was that? Racist. What'd you say? A quote of the day from the Truth About Guns: Gun buyers are racists. Yeah, who said oh, it? Oh my God. Um, let's see. Well, God bless us then. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it came from a news article, NBC News. Obama was good for the gun lobby to use as a foil to make people believe that Obama was after their guns. I don't think Barack Obama did anything that would have warranted that response, but the people who were most vulnerable to the gun lobby's claims may also have greater suspicions about the first African-American president, is the quote. Well, so, let's... Only let's, racist. Let's... Well, Kenny, okay, whatever. I'm not going to touch what I was thinking, but anyways... <laughs> Um, about that whole title. I think anyone who wrote that is probably a communist. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. Not gun owners are communists. Quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> anyone who's not a gun owner, you're a communist. Pretty much. Long live the submachine gun. That's <laughs> Gorillas and guns. I can't be racist. I don't drive a race right. car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. drinks. Awesome. Yeah, gun control actually in all seriousness, and Richard Hughes says this wrong. This is what he says, and he's very right. Wrong. Gun control laws are racist. They were designed to keep guns out of the hands of newly freed slaves. Amen. Correct, Correct. exactly. Really true, yeah. yeah. And who so. fought and who fought to to fight that whole thing? Oh, come in here. Look at my let me show my son for a second. I guess he was at a performance. Oh, no. Oh, Look you're showing him off. I thought you were going to show him. Watch your head. Watch your head. Don't bang your head on that thing. Look at the level the level of handsomeness. Oh, let me lock it up. Look at him in his suit. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. He looks just like you, Hank, 20 years younger. <laughs> yeah. They both look like me, me, but I'm still doing genetic tests. Still going to happen. It's a little bit late. I mean, they're all grown up. <laughs> but, hey, we're going to do the test anyway. Um, so is Lola back? Uh, yeah, it looks like Lola. Well, she's got to come over and say hello now before it's again. 100. She, she's not in the room. She's going somewhere. She left again. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, where are you, Lola? Oh, I think she went to the back. She went to the back. So, well, um, uh, we, we wanted to know, do you got any guns in the uh, hidden cabinet behind you tonight? No, I don't. No, oh, that's why I didn't go in there. Nothing. I didn't. Yeah, I brought in a bunch of, I had a whole bunch of work. I don't know if you guys saw me like looking off to this. I'm doing this and working at the same time. I'm trying to put up 10 um, iTunes episodes. <laughs> so I'm working on those things at the same time that I'm doing. I'm multitasking, damn it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, um, you know, we've got guns. We've got guns in the safe, but, uh, you know. Okay. I figured I'd let everyone else break out the guns. Uh, Jesus, this is the dumbest quote I've ever heard from oh, Walter. Is your uh, your sale still going on? Um, technically, no. Well, we, we still have the, we still have the inter introductory pricing on the uh, CZ yeah Scorpion stock, but um, on the other stuff we had for the Black Friday stuff, no, not necessarily. But yeah. um, okay, 
that means you can't you can't buy the stuff you know it's, it's yeah so um yep so scorpion stocks one of those going out i know there's some folks i know um real cujo bought one and there's a right, few right. other people lola you coming in people want to people want to see you for the hundredth episode kathy yeah Gray. the 100th episode no, you, you, you can't, you, it was too fast no no they want they're demanding <laughs> What is she come on, Lola. Come on. Let's, hey, tell her if she doesn't come in, I'm going to spam her text message on her phone. Yeah, he's, uh, Tyvin says he's going to start sending you a bunch of messages. <laughs> she says she'll just block you. <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe we'll get her to come on here uh, in a second. Let's see. Okay, come yeah. on. Yeah. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Come Daffy on. Gifters. Gabby Giffords. Watch your head. Watch your head. Oh, wait. No, no. Don't bang the noggin. Don't bang the noggin. There's Lola. <laughs> there she is. Lola from behind the scenes. 100th episode. Lola. Lola from the block. Oh, yeah. Right. There you go. Wow, That's, you're getting cheers and whatnot on the chat? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's saying Lola, 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 Lola. <laughs> there you go. From, there we go. Much love to goes. Lola. Hank, you got to show her the picture Hank. real quick. Oh, here. Yeah, congratulations, show, Lola, for all the love and support this. for the 100th episode. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't do that to him. Oh, it's too late. It's been done. It's been losing it's done, man. benefits. As Kevin would say, it's already <laughs> been dead. <laughs> it's already been dead. <laughs> it's already been dead. It's too Has late he, now. Did he sanction this? No, he didn't sanction it. No. <laughs> but it's already all over the internet. It's too late for that. <laughs> Watch your head. Yeah, it's already too late for that. Uh, it's going to be the thumbnail. We might not see Kevin on Ever Monday again. next week. Yeah. You might not see me. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin will come looking for you. If you look out your window and you see a big donk out there <laughs> big, big with St. Louis plates oh, on it. <laughs> have a train of donks hanging out the front of the house. <laughs> yeah. You know. The donk army. The donk army. We, we heard you talking shit about donks. <laughs> yeah. If you can hear some Nelly music rolling down your block. <laughs> rolling up the street. Yeah. You're like, uh-oh. Come Every time I hear you. loud bass, I'm just going to be like looking over my shoulder. <laughs> who yeah. won what? Who won the stakes and the. Um, I forgot who won. Uh, Hornady. Kentucky I think, Firearms. Yeah, Kentucky Firearms oh, won nice. the stakes. Nice. And Flying Rich on Twitter, Thank who you. is. He is Richard. Oh, I forgot. Hughes? Yeah, Richard Hughes. He won the. Wait, we got Peggy too. Sweet. We see her from where's around the Pe corner. Where's Peggy? Where's, where's Peggy Killer Keller? There she goes. Look. Oh. Peggy Keller, the Killer Keller is in there. She's paying bills right now. Walter has yeah. to get the bills paid, keep the electricity Hi, Peggy. on. Hi, Peggy. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Hello. All the wives have been on the show, except where's Mrs. Babyface? Yeah, she I was, was getting ready to ask. Where's Mrs. Where's, Babyface? Where's Babyface at? Well, first thing, there's no Babyface Mrs. Working. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, she's working for a living. <laughs> she's working right that's now. Cute. Somebody's got to – someone's got to pay for the wedding. That's right. Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. We already did a, like a wedding calculator. Oh God! Six grand, right off the bat. You can totally have your wedding on the range. You know, Marley, we'll have Walter Marley, come. Marley, we'll have we'll have a machine gun salute for Marley you. Marley would fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna make us? Yes, I, Peggy, you're oh not gonna God. make us put on suits no, and go Peggy. to a church, are you? We're not gonna do that to the poor girl. We're no. not. We're not going no. to a church. It's probably gonna be Omaha, an outdoor wedding. Like Omaha a, steaks. So, right? baby face, where are you gonna go on your uh, honeymoon? We haven't really decided on that yet. Um, oh, that's ten thousand right there, dude. Oh, yeah. I, so, so our plan right now is because you know we I we own a house, we have stuff, we don't really need things. Our goal is to tell everybody like, if you're gonna give us a gift, just give us like money so we can put it towards the honeymoon. I don't need like household stuff. We have so much of that. You don't need another toaster. Take a I take a nice vacation. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, take a nice vacation and go to Brian Quick says all weddings should cost less than thousand dollars. Dude. Take a quick vacation. Go to North Korea. It'll be nice. MG42. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be good. That'd be a good. Yeah. Year. I'll put that on the wish list for the for the. A Knob Creek honeymoon. 904 Outdoor says. <laughs> Knob Creek honeymoon. There you go. That sounds. That would like probably, they'd they'd probably do the wedding for you before they start the main shoot. Yeah. That's a both of us drinking a ton of, of <laughs> Knob Creek whiskey and then passing out. <laughs> yeah. You're not that far from Disneyland, dude. No, we're not. I don't know if Marley's a Disney, like a theme park goer. I used to work in theme parks, so I, I hate him now. Oh. Is Bush Garden still a thing? Wait, wait a second. Yeah, what did you do in the theme park? What did you do in the theme park? I was an animal trainer. You, you didn't know this? You were animal trainer? Professional animal trainer, yeah. What kind of animals did you train? Did you train? Exotic birds um, and uh, so. Donkeys. 
<laughs> no, no, I didn't work with any of them. It was just exotic Donkeys. birds. Uh, we had a, a condor. We had um, some cranes, like big birds, big exotics. Uh, lots of macaws, lots of smaller things. So you're the guy that ran around all the time with a bag of crackers said, Polly, want a cracker? Polly, want a cracker? Much. Pretty much. We had, yeah, we had all sorts of, of exotic and, birds. And you the worked show. at Disney or Universal? Bush Gardens and SeaWorld. Bush Gardens and SeaWorld. Okay. Then I never saw you because I never went to those places. Yeah, yeah, Bush Gardens, the, the sh my show actually closed a couple years ago, Bush Gardens. Um, they moved it. It's now like a different show. All the animals are in a different show. And then SeaWorld, I think my show is still open there. Um, if you go see Blue Horizons at SeaWorld, I worked at that show. Yeah, Tango Hunter says, put Lolo away before I have a negligent, negligent discharge. <laughs> a negligent discharge. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, you got to. Wow. You know. On that <laughs> note, I think it's <laughs> weird. <Yeah. Wow. laughs> Protect yourself. Oh, Hank, what is this? Lolo, run. What happened? Oh, Hickok45 just put up a video of the, the, the Sanyo Manufacturing STD 1911. Why don't we have one of those yet? What manufacturing? Standard. Standard. Uh, Standard oh, the 1911. The no, it's, it's just another. It's another 1911. But it's a it's a case hardened 1911, and it's hand hand scrolled and hand engraved, which is pretty. Oh, good. nice. Very nice. Yeah. That's expensive. Yeah, yeah, hand engraving. Well, it's just a 1911, but it's it's all hand engraved and it looks cool. Bang bang bang. Listen, Every gun just goes bang bang. bang when it comes you have to a, if you have the choice of sending that to. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We Hank can send Strange. it to Hickok 45 for like 3 million so subscribers. Hickok, yeah. Hank Strange. All or day Hank Strange. <laughs> yeah. Everybody go to Hickok's thing and troll him and say that should have gone to Hank Strange. No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> and, no, and, don't, seriously, don't do that. And he'll, and he'll be like, yeah, oh, you know, 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bang, then, bang. You know, it's like in his, in his exciting way, you know. No, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll try. Hey, well, look, we'll try to get one. We'll try to Never get one. Never ask for a picture either. Huh? I said, never ask that man for a picture either. I oh. hear people do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to be very. I've heard. He, yeah, I heard he doesn't like giving out pictures or autographs. Yeah. So <laughs> let me see here. Walk around the creek. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Is that it? Is that everything? Yeah. This is the. Welcome to episode. Syracuse. Yeah. What's going on? To oh, you're in Syracuse. Just pulled into Syracuse. Oh boy, they are in trouble now. No. So it's not snowing. Yeah. Snowing, huh? Like so let's see what's going on for tomorrow's quick, show. Tomorrow we question. have Walter and Kevin tomorrow. Quick question Always. before you go. Oh God. Oh God. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hot okay. retribution, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a quick question before we move on. What was um uh, Mac talking about? I saw a link from Mike Bryant. Um, I, he Canada. wanted us to get in touch with the House of Reps. Okay, I'll watch this. HR thirty eight, National yeah, Reciprocity. I th yeah, I think that's reciprocity is coming up for votes. Okay. I'll I'll give um, his video a watch. It's only like a minute long, I guess. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure we'll talk about it tomorrow. All right. So, you know what? Um, I sure hope Kevin can't do fa uh, Photoshop. Right? <laughs> yeah, if Kevin can do Photoshop, he's right now That's working on stuff. We're in trouble. Hey, Kevin, got, his son could probably do Photoshop or something like that. We'll so. need a Ferrari, Kevin, okay? Yeah, he's getting the kids out. <laughs> yeah, Ferrari. I'll yeah. put, I'll, I'll put okay, myself I'll, in a... Put me in a Ferrari, you know? Hold on. Let me see if I can find oh, a dog. Oh, Kevin, give all your hate to Babyface. That was... I didn't authorize that. <laughs> that had nothing to do with me. That was Babyface, Walter, and Tyvin. No, it wasn't. No, 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 no. I backed out way back before, and you said, no, you're in the street. Yeah, okay. So, Babyface, before we wrap up, you got any things you want to point out? Of course, you've got your YouTube channel. Remind people about that. Yeah, I think it's what is it, Babyface P, if you look on YouTube. I haven't posted anything in a while. Um, we need a. We're gonna. We still need to do the videos on the Glock uh, Gen Five versus the M and P. I do have a uh, a really nice holster on the way that I'm gonna be testing out from. That I I bought it from Harry's Holsters. He was in chat a couple days ago, um, so I I went to his website and bought one so I can try carrying the M and P compact. So um, I'll report back on that. And see, I, I'm concerned that the texture is going to sandpaper my back. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, there you go. And uh, before we go, by the way, um, it's on social media. <laughs> there you go. And Kevin is actually commenting on it. He says, I'm going to get babyface. <laughs> I'll show him. Hold on. Where's, here, Hank, this is my donk. <laughs> oh, boy. This is my donk. This is my... I got your donk right here. <laughs> Hold on. Here's, here, you can put this. <laughs> I'll put this in there. There's my donk. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is getting wow. this is getting. So Tyvin, Tyvin, what do you what do you uh 
I stuck in a chat so you can look at it. Yeah. yeah. First, I just want to say thanks to Omaha Stakes, uh, Stakes for helping us out, and uh, also <laughs> to uh, Team Hornaday for helping us out for the giveaways on the 100th episode here. Also, check me out on the Time Show. I do gaming, guns, and fun. Uh, follow me on YouTube right there at the Time Show, and follow me on Twitter at the Time Show. So that's about it. We'll be up live Saturday night with some uh, GTA 5. And then uh, I've still got a couple more gun videos I've got to post from uh, a couple months ago. Awesome. So just swamped. Just swamped. So thanks, everybody. And once again, uh, Hank, congratulations on 100. 100. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for helping out, you know, um, helping us to get here and all that kind of stuff. All yes, your sir. contributions have been much appreciated, my friend. So thank you for that. Yes, sir. Uh, same goes to you, babyface. Walter, what do you have to say? Night, everybody. That's it. That's all. <laughs> that's all you got. That's all you got. You already. We already came to me one time and said, "What do you got?" And then we went off in this tirade again. So it's like. Oh, so now you're not gonna say anything. But it, but it, but it, it's awful. It's all, folks. <laughs> that really seriously. That's it. That's what all you, you got. To say, oh, let's get yeah. ready for another hundred shows. Yeah. Get stage. <laughs> Come on, you know, get who was that? We're just getting started here on the channel, so stay tuned. There we go. There you go. Now, now you did it. Now that's good. That's, is this bad? I, I, Welcome to the Hanger Experience here on YouTube. Stay tuned. It's just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, baby yeah. face? What is what bad? I can't find a white person in a donk to put Photoshop my face on. It's <laughs> <laughs> only black people uh, in donks. Oh my! I don't God. know. That's definitely that's racism right there, man. No, oh, man. Yeah, I need okay. you need some white folks in donks so we can get some pictures up in here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, it says, uh, "Can't wait for our future guests." Um, I guess at some point we'll have nine oh four on when he brings his butt on. So they would. There go. you go. Um, yeah, uh, Lola says tomorrow's Walter and Kevin. Um, I want to thank everyone in the chat, all the people that have been supporting the show, everyone that's, that uh, sponsors us on Patreon, or Patreon slash Hank Strange, everyone in the chat, all the folks, uh, you know, we had three folks that uh, gave up some moolah today, and that is much appreciated. Don King and the Donk photos. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks to, you know, um, uh, Real Cujo, Shme uh, Shmeggy42, and um, what was the other one? I'm forgetting. Yeah, Snooch, Mr. Snooch. So mm -hmm. thanks to those guys for helping out. You know, thanks to everyone who's been like thumbs upping and watching the shows and sharing and contributing and all that kind of stuff. We really appreciate it. Uh, you know, like Walter said, it's a hundred shows. I'm looking forward to probably like a hundred more. The probably, best part of the Tank Strange yeah. experience. Yeah, the next hundred's coming up fast. You know, it's coming up fast. We're doing a lot of shows. We're doing these like five times a week. It's not easy. I really appreciate Walter like doing this because he go he go he gets up early, goes to the shop, works all day. Jesus, yeah. I don't know how all kinds of different machinery. <laughs> Makes guns, puts the guns out there, does all the other stuff he has to do, and then he yeah, pull all up for everybody. Yeah, right. he comes in here and hangs out with us. Uh, you know, quite a few yeah. nights, yeah, a week, hanging out with us. You know, missing the family and the, all the different family activities. He's got to eat on air just to survive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm withering away. I'm withering. We, we put on ten pounds. Since yeah. we started this. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. you know what? It's great. You know, I got to thank Babyface. Babyface is always Ooh. helping us out. As well as creating trouble. The maker of trouble, Babyface, you know. And, of course, there goes Tyvin. But these are just the guys that you guys are seeing right now. There's lots of folks who have come on the show, people who are planning on coming on the show, folks that we would like to come on the show. You know, we'd like to see more of the folks out there who actually watch and support the show. Come on and talk about it and tell us what you like and all that kind of good okay. stuff. Yeah, we enjoy your support. We look forward to doing like getting to a thousand. That's the number that I'd like to see. <laughs> you know, You're so good, this, there, man. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. So thanks to everyone. Thanks to the support from Safety Harbor Firearms, Rand CLP, uh, uh, Sam Andrews, Big Daddy Guns, who gives us this space here and the internet and all that kind. And they do a lot of other good stuff, man. They're always helping us out with equipment and all that kind of thing. So that's why I always encourage everyone to go support all those companies that support us. And I think that's pretty much it, right, Lola? Yep. All right, we're out of here. Give me a kiss. Mwah! 100! We're out of here!